No Jumper, coolest podcast in the world. And today I'm in here with my co-host, Brick Baby. Don't be late. Don't see late. And Long Beach's very own DW Flame. Ah, uh, Beezy, number Feezy, you know the truth. And today we're tapping in with someone who many have said the hottest rapper in L.A. King of Los Angeles, man. Ooh. Ooh. Yeah, I'm standing on it, man. That's why Talk it's two, it's two of us in the building. You know, I just said I did. I'm the, 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 We the all kings I'm in our own. Kings. We all kings in our, you know. Yeah. For sure, we born kings. Man. There's so That's many it. different LAs, though. Oh, uh, I can nah, give it to man, you. Claim, that joke. That jo- jo- I'm only talking music-wise, too. Like, we ain't talking straight. And I can give you that. Just music-wise, see yeah, it. You know nah, me? but I can I also, like, I can also I'm about give to yank you that. This sh- out even further if you are going to be sitting up like that. Oh, yeah. Matter of fact, let's put it out. No, 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 no. I was just not You're going to sit back? I'll sit back. Yeah, I'll sit back. Either way, they're just trying to. Yeah, I definitely can give you that out of your section of LA also. Cause there's so many different LA. So when 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 I say King of LA, Brick Baby on bunk, in my sh- I'm saying I'm the King of LA because of a lane that I opened up. Thank you. And you know we all have to talk over here. Yeah, so nah, it's like sure. you you king yourself at what you do. So with you saying that, I could kind of like, and I know the area. So you the biggest thing over there for sure. For sure. But yeah, we got we got some real <laughs> going on too. Yeah, man. Right here with no LB. No, I was. Oh LB. no, 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 no. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, I didn't know. Oh yeah, you I'm just about called to say no, LB. No, oh. I'm saying no. I said that's LB. That's oh. why I ain't putting you <laughs> no, in no, the no. conversation. Oh right yeah, there. no, I wasn't politicking on that. I wasn't. But but we do got today is about politics, Ooh. right? I think it's about a big polit. Right now, you got one of the biggest politics going on yeah, in LA for in sure. Right now. And your music is going for sure. Crazy. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I listen to your. My favorite rapper in L.A. right now. Oh, yeah, I'm going to give it to you. Appreciate Literally. that. Appreciate Literally. that. Literally. No cap. I would not say that if it wasn't a fact. I've been that's playing your shit back to back. Probably I got I got a lot of your tracks that's out there when I really start listening to you know, it. I put up on you solo by myself. Manda. I'm yeah, yeah. solo, man. I'll that was about like, what, man. two years ago? Mm-hmm. Yeah. But, yeah, um, we got this paperwork. Cud <laughs> came and brought us all paperwork today. That, in our hand. It's a, a packet. Yeah, and bef- yeah. be- before we dig in, And it's right? on Google. Yeah, it's on Google, but before we dig in, right, let me just give you my my state of mind, right? Wait, but okay, before we even do Not that, e- I, know, I, I would love to ahead. hear him just break down the day so that people know what we're talking about before we start diving into the nitty-gritty of stuff, because I feel like that's, a lot of people think it's some other, they yeah. think you got caught with a gun, and that's why you were in the interrogation, yeah. whatever, so okay, it's like. Okay, let's start. Basically, look, that morning I got picked up by my homie. It's really short, I'm going to be honest with you. Uh-huh. I got picked up by my homies. Bam, he was with his wife. I I, I moved from uh, Sacramento, I think I think it was. Bam, I get here from Sacramento. He picked me up. I don't remember if it was, it probably, I was broke around that time. It's probably the Greyhound. Probably picked me up from the Greyhound. It was nine in the morning. That's what you see me talking about in the video. You know what mm. I'm saying it was nine in the morning, explaining the car that we was in. Put up nine in the morning. Kevin is my homie. Mm-hmm. That's who baby mama was killed. That's who I drove to the hospital, Janae. Mm-hmm. So bam, we pull up in the morning. Bam, we get bust on. Remind you, I seen the car. I seen who was in the car. I knew exactly who was in the car. So you, you guys park. Kevin goes into the house? We park. Kevin goes into the house. So now it's just me and Janae in the car. Mm-hmm. And she's pregnant. She's pregnant at the time, seven months. Bam. Probably within like six minutes, a car pull up right on the side of us. Boom, 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 start busting. I jump out. I get on. Bam, I break. I don't all the way leave. I go on the porch. I went to a house. See, they hear they hear Where me describing hit? the house. That's the house I ran on the porch. Was I hit? Yeah. I got skint in my lip. Oh, oh. I thought I thought you uh, got yeah. hit. Uh, that's for me. That's for me jumping the gate after I tried to. Okay. Yeah. So then, all right, bam. I'm not about to just leave her in the car dead. She got hit like eight times. The homie on parole, he throw me the keys. He like, bro, take her to the hospital. Ooh, wow, wow. Bam. I didn't want to do it at first, but I'm like, I'm about to just let her die. So I caught myself doing a favor, taking her to the hospital. She already dying. You know what I'm saying? She hit like seven times, twice in the head, all in the body. So I pull up in front of the hospital. If you know my hood, Cadillac and La Cienega, it's a Kaiser right, right there. Across the street. Like literally right there. So I'm trying yeah. to drop her off and run back to the hood. They locked me in the hospital till detectives got there. So as soon as you walk in, because I'm assuming that you're not planning on spending much time on here, you're just bringing her in real quick. Trying and to get you, on. And you try to but dip not, out they within not hearing seconds, me, so right? They're not hearing me, so I run in there like, hey, it's a body in the car, a dead body. Woo-woo. Like, call emergency. I'm about to get on. They lock the doors. 
to the hospital. Uh-huh. Within 10, 15 minutes later, detectives come. Throw me in handcuffs. Bam. Put me in the back of the car. It's all on the news. It's, it's all on Google. Did you feel uh, like if you would have just dropped the car off at the emergency that you would have that you would have failed your like duty to your homeboy like for his wife because I, once i just seen somebody coming to help they was moving slow yeah Cause i was yelling from the door at first yeah like you hey it's a body in the car and i'm just looking like damn this shit, like she about to die it's like they act like they don't hear me you know what i'm saying so then i run in there like hey it's a body in the car bam that's when everybody hear me and that's when they lock the door when i turn around try to but i'm not at the end of the day i'm like the door locked what i'm gonna do break the door like i'm not and then i'm like i ain't this shit. Right. We got we got bust on. I don't got nothing to hide. Yeah, at the end of the day. So yeah, mm-hmm. basically, man, it was a dead because people think I got I'm tipping with a blower or something, and I just get cracked with a blower, and I'm like, oh, I I gotta know about a murder. I need to tell you guys about. Nah, I dropped a dead body off. Kevin is my homie. I dropped a dead body off at and the Kevin hospital. Kevin, because you said his name, they thinking you. They think I told on Kevin. I never said no names. And remind you, I know these. I've been in jail with them. I grew up with him. Brick, you know. Mm-hmm. I know the first, last name, and I seen the car. So if I wanted to tell on him, I could have just been like, oh, yeah, that's Wooty Whoop. I went to school with him. I was just in camp with him. That was my celly in camp. Like, come on, bro. If I went, I knew the car. If I wanted to say all, I could have said all that. But at the end of the day, remind you, my homies, I was out of town, and they got into a dispute. So I felt like I can fix it all. I was out of town. I know these Like, you feel what I'm saying? I'm like, when they tell me about the fight and everything that took place and getting shot and all this I'm like, bro, I can still fix this, bro. My brother, rest in peace from Mansfield. So in my head, even after they killed the homegirl, I'm not, I'm not looking at them like enemies or nothing. Like I'm not mad at them. I seen them after that. It was never no problem. I was in jail with. They put so, me in a tank with. So this is documented, also. Everything is documented. Yeah, I'm so saying. No, 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 because I was go even go back before the fight. Uh, Teflon did a documentary. Yep. That's by on the that end documentary. Of his documentary. Peacemaker. You got shit. Peacemaker documentary. Yeah. Teflon had did the documentary. Uh, shout out my boy Teflon. I'll, I'll, I'll have that. a dog in the fight, like I said, because you know I'm not. 2010. From, uh, 2010. 2010. The documentary was 2010. Remember the Peace Treaty old. doc? Uh, the dude they used to pull he went up. Every hood. Yeah, four trades. He went to every yeah. hood and tried to make peace in the hoods, like with the two. So whatever the case was, Teflon. By the end of the documentary, he had been shot. I was in the county with him too around that time. Did the spiral events start then, or right? Did, did the fight start? Didn't it? Like you know, what I'm saying we all got to get Teflon deep. got shot after the fight, so okay. Swiss got all shot right. first, all right. and then okay. Teflon got shot after. All right. You know so what I'm Swiss is who is Swiss? A BB. Swiss is a BB. He's a BB. This is the person that yeah, the that's suspect. Who, yeah, and that's the that's that's what people saying. You, we're gonna see. We're gonna get to the drive evidence. I'm gonna let y'all read it, matter of fact. I'm saying what they saying about that. So, who is cousin the story in the whole thing? Oh, he the uh, yeah, yeah, right, 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 right. Excuse it's me. three people actually. Yeah, it's Lil Swiss, Big Swiss, and Cecil. That's okay. Laurent. Yeah. That's who they leaving out. Yeah. That's who dropped no. Lil Swiss dropped his phone at the crime scene. Laurent told everything, bro. They crime me told on them and got them convicted. It's going it's all in the paperwork. You feel me? Cause I'm like all this, they pulling up a police report on me that never made it to court. And they talk about people, oh, his statement got thrown out. No statement get thrown out. It never made it to court. But they were saying you recanted your statement that's on the I'm, stand that's at what, one point. No, I got locked up. I remember I was in there with you. Yeah. I got locked up, and I refused to even go to court. I, I was locked up. I refused no to go. No keep away wristband, right? No, none of that. They put me in the cell with them niggas. Chain me up. Me and Lil Swiss went to court together. Like, come on, bro. Remind you, this 14 years later, bro. This shit about no street shit. This shit is about music. Lil T Swiss money feel like T game. money feel like he could sabotage my name and, and promote his artists. You seen he brought his two artists up here trying to promote his little artists and shit. I got so, I got messages from his mom said saying he tried this to sign about you music. Too, right? He just tried to sign me six months ago. I don't know if y'all remember when I did the Roxy show and I was put. He the one who told me to put all up. I'm at. We, we, he's about to take me to Empire. I ended up going to Empire myself, so I don't think he liked it that, and I started my own company. So then, bam. He the one who told me to promote my album like that with the posters I was putting up around all around the town. He the one who told me to do that. He been calling me, giving me ideas, trying to sign me. The minute I didn't sign to him, it became a problem. Why you think they? Why you think this is just now coming out? Mm. This would have been came out, bro. I've I been that before a rapper. I was already like an active figure in my hood. For sure. This would have been came out. You seen me on the main line in blues, ducking nobody. I didn't see you in your hood. Everywhere. On the front line. With them. I- 
I, so I, what, can, I, so can, I can verify everything. I'm gonna turn it down, said. but I want you to watch this video with me. It's, this was two months ago, three months ago they with used me. To live with y'all. This, okay. this is with me. I got though. Yeah, so in is 40 of in your hood, man. Nah, only the I've been not only only the I've been. Everybody who said something to me is I already had issues with that I would I will f them niggas anyway. That's like two niggas. They I got my waiting. homies outside in the front right now. Right, right. Yeah. Just, they yeah, was yeah, I'm, I'm, I pull up. I'm pulling up anywhere. I'm still going to the same spots. Look, look at this. That's that's two months ago. That's me with me and forty of them. I'm by myself. So this was filmed in your neighborhood. In no, they in hood. their neighborhood. That's in their hood. Oh, okay, okay. Me by myself in their hood. But I told on a nigga. So what y'all guns don't work? Y'all don't know how to fight. But isn't their argument that they found out about this shit recently, like after this? No, they've been. T this nigga been. This nigga got sentenced in uh, 2017. This is an old case. You can't like. You gonna find out about something once a nigga get sentenced right then and there. So instantly. That's mm. why I was saying my state of mind before we had dug into this. I have talked to somebody that's in talks with Swiss. They reached out to me specifically to say certain stuff. So uh, I'm. I'm gonna go, but I ain't go. You know what I'm saying? Not like I got, but. What was the question that you just asked him right before? Because remember, I was saying my state of mind. Well, just like one thing that, like, basically, I didn't know what they were talking about when I did the podcast with T-Money and Wack. But basically, they were, uh, T-Money was, like, responding to the Instagram live that you did where you were basically, like, speaking about the case and stuff. And he said that that you were misrepresenting by because you actually went to court and took the stand and recanted your statement later. And I was just trying to figure out. See, that's a lie. That's a, he, he wasn't even in court. Niggas that was in court see me all the time. I see Baby Diamond all the time. Why? How I recanted a statement. My never made it to court. Nothing, nothing I said about them niggas. I never said on names. I never mm -hmm. said nothing about them. It never made it to court. They talking about Cecil Laurent. His statement was thrown out. That, even if my statement was thrown out, you would still be able to find it in here. Mm -hmm. Trial evidence and everything. You're going to still see Cecil Laurent there crying me. His shit in here. You're going to see everything. A question I got, can I, uh, oh, yeah, a, question, a, question, a question I got for you is, is, as you were in there in the interrogation, right? Uh -huh. Like, were you in the mind state of, like, boom, you just, you trying to throw them off real quick? Because a in lot In a way, because them my homies, bro. I don't want to see nobody go to jail. Remind you, them my homies. Because a lot of motherfuckers wondering if, like, Look, like, why you even saying anything? Exactly, because I, I call myself trying to throw them off. Them my, them my homies at the end of the day. Remind you, if I wanted somebody to go to jail, I would have just said their first and last name, said who it was, the car and everything. Mm -hmm. People get, people thinking, like, damn, did he? Is he sitting there really guessing the car or guessing the names? No, man, did they tell you they was going to charge you as a suspect in the case? Did they tell me they were going to charge you? Nah, they never said that to me. Okay. Nah. Because yeah, I, done, I done been in the interrogation room, too, a couple times. Yeah. Cause, and then there been times where I go straight in there and I be like, the police, they talking to me. I'm like, hey, you know what to do with me. And then there's been times where I thought I was slick. You know what yeah. I'm saying? So I'm trying to... I'm. I didn't know, even on the comments when niggas posted, I'm like, Cut, I have to literally see some or really understand what's going on before I throw That's anything like, on a nigga name. That's why I'm like, why they didn't post the whole video? You know I'm what like, I'm saying? They keep posting clips. Like, bro, if I wanted to tell them somebody, honestly, bro, them my homies at the end of the day. That's what people don't know. Them still my homies. I done shot at them niggas on his songs. I never felt no type of way towards the niggas at the end of the day. Like I said, I was living out of town. I felt like I could dispute whatever happened at Okie Dogs. Yeah. So y'all so didn't really have no room, beef personally. Nah, so, I know these niggas. I seen them after. I've been in jail with these niggas. Oh, so you so, them still the homies after? At the end of the day, yeah, them still my homies. I wasn't there when the first incident took place with that Baby like Skull and the nigga got type. shot. Right, right, That's right, like right, some right, internal right, shit. You know so I mean? when I'm in there the whole time, I'm trying to throw the police off. I, if I went to my homies to go to jail, them my homies, remind you. I grew up with these niggas. Seen they face, know they first and last name, and know what car they was so in. So BB had called in and said that the reason why... Nobody knew about it was because he didn't want to send the work on the capital murder case because he was fighting the death penalty, so he never had a chance to send the paperwork. When did out he get sentenced? Lawyer... What year did he get sentenced? I know this. Yeah. I know all of this. So I'm telling you because yeah. he said, "Didn't they find out recently?" So I'm telling yeah. you, this is what the narrative from that side is. So that's why I'm like, when I when I pop in and say something, yeah, yeah. that's because everything this they is saying, gang, is crazy because I got, it's, I can say something to contradict everything they saying. Like it's cap. They saying I got them niggas convicted. Nigga, this shit would be in here, nigga. The, the, everything is in here that got them convicted. Them dropping the cell phone. Them, the, the, the phone towers. Them, them finding the same showcases in their house. Everything is in there that got them niggas convicted. 
Nothing I said ever got them niggas in trouble, gang. Yeah, I think that's. I didn't say nothing. I think that's more of the question. Did did you? Did do, I get somebody? Did you, yeah. Are you? Nobody never went to jail for me. Did you add on to that? Nobody never went to jail for me. Nothing I said got thrown out in court. It wasn't nothing to throw out. You feel what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. What Cecil said, what y'all gonna read in here? They are crying me. That some of his statements got thrown out, but they still in here. Uh, okay. If anything I said against them niggas would be in here. Just the whole case right here. Penal code numbers and everything right there. You can Google it. It's on Google. I posted the link in my bio. I've been posting it. And what's the what? Uh, what's the whole reason that this sh- even came came man, these out? Niggas, these or, niggas or, be, this is fourteen years later, man. These niggas want to be my friend. Was the they've SUV, been trying to sign me? Go ahead. Go huh? ahead. Was no, the so, SUV actually gray? The actual SUV. I really don't remember. That's the thing. I was throwing. I said a black, pink. I throw all type of. Sh- you feel me? Yeah. I really. I'm reading a lot of this shit. I, I found out reading this shit. Yeah. I really didn't know they whole case. I, that, I knew I didn't have no involvement. Yeah. Me reading this, shit, I learned a lot. Of shit just so reading is this that shit. a police statement or was that a signed statement that I said that a, a great SUV? They got like a police report. Or, or did, did, did 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 you say that? Okay, did, was that on the uh, video? I'm describing the, the car SUV? we was in. Oh, you were in a great that's SUV. What, yeah, that's yeah, bro. That, that's confusion. one thing that need to be cleared up too. Yeah. That's the main Kevin thing. Kevin is my homie. I'm I know. Just, I'm, I'm describing the car. Yeah, I know. Kevin is my homie. I'm describing the car or we was in. that did the crime. Like, thank you. If I if I wanted to tell them niggas, bro, I could have just said everything. So you was describing the car you was in. So describing everybody the car thinks that Write you that were one describing. Down. Kevin, yeah, that's, that's one of the major ones. Yeah, right yeah, Kevin yeah, is yeah. my yeah. homie. Yeah. Look, <laughs> Kevin is my homie. I didn't get arrested for no gun. Instead, I know about a murder. I dropped off a dead body. But it says on May 3rd, a BB rented a silver Jeep Commander Yeah, SUV that's what Cecil... Enterprise. Look, Cecil, if you, when you keep reading, you're going to yeah. see. Cecil told them about the gun. They went and got footage. I read this shit. Boy, it's crazy. You got to read this shit. Like, No, that's what I'm saying. Look, I'm skimming Cecil through there, it. Cecil was there crying me. Uh-huh. You, his name is Cecil Laurent. When you read it through there, he the one told them about, I guess, that's them right. going to a gun range. They got footage of them in a, a gray SUV like, at the gun range or some shit. LAX. Mm. Them niggas went to a gun range in LAX or whatnot. That's all in there. So they went mm. and trained before they did I guess the day before this? they went and trained. They got footage and all that. It's all in there. This every this, this is nothing left out. Right. This is what got them boys in jail, incarcerated, in trouble. For sure. Uh, so, I, okay, I didn't even realize that the, there was a fight in a parking lot that led up to this. So yeah. that was like basically what was the reason for it, for anyone wondering why they would be just randomly driving up and shooting at Big Sad, right? It was because of a fight that had occurred, what, like a couple hours earlier? I guess a fight broke A fight broke out a week, maybe a week before. Oh, a week weeks. before. And the yeah. BB was shot at And the BB fight. was shot. During the fight, okay. Yeah. Damn, and so you weren't even there for the fight? No, I wasn't even there. So it was but just I revenge. felt like I can, I felt like my brother from over there, my homies that got into a fight with them, they don't really know them niggas like that. They don't go on that side. You feel mm. what I'm saying? They don't really, my homies don't go on that side over there. So at the end of the day, I don't. My homies, I feel like they don't really know them niggas. They got into it with. So I can come in. I'll be able to holler at Swiss. I know Swiss. Grow Swiss. I was in jail with uh, cool, uh, cool, uh, cool. Lil Swiss. Or I know Snap. Come all situated of, real that's quick. That's what I thought. Yeah, yeah I can come Sometime in. Sometimes niggas could be the glue. Put some shit, like yeah, you know, for sure. I feel like I could have done that because my homies that got into it with them, they don't know them. I like I know them. I grew up with them. And these is the the the. The money getters in the Mansfield. The look, this is the face of the Mansfield yeah. as far as that age group at the time. Swiss and all them always, the, you know. Yeah. I grew up with these niggas, bro, since we was in middle school. Like, you feel what I'm saying? People making it seem like I was trying to guess and tell on a nigga, bro. If I wanted to tell on a nigga, bro, I knew niggas first and last names. How you, how you get into it with whack? I don't know that. Uh, how, huh? how I get you into it? This same place look, I, I, ain't, I ain't know how no, you get into it with whack for it to one, even come here. Yeah. This ain't started with Wack. It started with the nigga who tried to sign me, T Money. Mm-hmm. He went to Wack. Oh. Uh, so it's this one, this how Wack got involved. It's been Robert in the street. Can I, can I speak yeah. on the underlying <laughs> Robert? Because I'm on camera, bro. Yeah, we want, so I want to like talk about everything. I want to talk about everything. Okay, so it's been Robert that in the street that it came from you saying that P Trey. P Trey, oh, yeah, you like said that. something about P Trey. That's what. Rest <laughs> in peace in Vegas. That's what they that said. That died in Vegas was. Uh, some, <laughs> was a snitch. These are, yeah. that's what you said. You start mentioning some That's paper. my homie. I know. Yeah. I know what's going on. He, come on, I'm in man. a DM going back and forth with his brother. You feel me? His brother was in the pen playing with boys that got rolled up. You know what I'm saying? Scandalous. So I know information about Cuss these him. niggas. I just know shit, man. It's like oh niggas mad. I just know but shit, man. Ever... I, I've been around so long, bro. Like, I don't want to expose my age, bro. I know shit. 
Like, and I just, <laughs> niggas got mad. Look, they've been calling me all week. They talk about, oh, we only put this out because you made a diss song. I'm like, bro, f y'all niggas. I don't want to be friends with y'all niggas. Never did want to be friends with y'all niggas. So the diss song had something about you. That's what they said. Did you say something about P Trade? No, I said something about T Money. I said, bro, T Money a hoe. Are you talking but about now the I new know diss, now. That new song, yeah. Yeah, I never did not. I never dissed Petra. But so you never dissed Petra? I probably, I probably, I probably, I probably sent something to his brother. Okay. We was going back and forth in the DM. Hell yeah, we was hot. We was probably talking about my brother. Uh, I'm talking about his brother. That's one of the underlying. Yeah, yeah I might just, I might have said something. That's set. Yeah. I'm burnt. I ain't gonna lie. I disrespect. <laughs> I'm disrespectful. I, I dis, oh, I dis the dead, and I get out because I stand on it. These niggas acting like they gonna do something when they see me, bro. Y'all been seeing me 14 years. Y'all niggas don't want to do nothing. Y'all niggas not that. Y'all don't got a gangster body in y'all bone. To be acting like y'all want to do something to a nigga. Y'all ain't got a gangster. Yeah, like, gonna be honest. <laughs> everybody know about everybody Pause. know about Mansfield's gang. Y'all not y'all not that gang. A nigga not like we gonna keep it gangster. Niggas know what PBGs do. We, like you feel me? We gotta go through this whole paperwork though, gang, because I feel like y'all can have I more said, questions. No, I'm right here. If no, y'all read go, this shit, yeah. It. You gotta kind of drive talking us. Talking here like EV, you know, like you know the paperwork. <laughs> I so be you talking. Gotta drive us through. I be talking so about where we at right now is the rental car. So that's why I was saying like yeah. It says right here on May 3rd. Mm. It says that the Jeep Commander was silver. The second it's one. It's on the second page. Uh, the fourth oh, paragraph. Okay, okay. Wow. It says that the Jeep Commander, that's why I wanted to clear yeah, that up. Yeah, nah, like, for sure. All right, because I'm going to tell you, the only thing that I disagree with is that, that the car was silver. You said something about a grayish car. I said but y'all was in a, yeah. But I said like a black, pink. Silver. Yeah, no, but you were saying you were, them off. You, what kind of you car were you was in? You was in a great car. Me? We was in a great car, too. We was in, like, a little Civic or some shit. Oh. Honda or some shit like that. That's, that's, that's like, that's It's a something lot of confusion, that, gang. That they would com be, get confused. I, so they I, I'm reading break. the comments. Is there, a part, is there a part where they, that whole conversation where you was talking about your car and all that stuff? Because that's where the world think you went wrong, gang. Yeah, and that's when I come to clear up, gang. Yeah. This right here is what got them convicted. It's, you gotta just scam through this shit, gang. I, it's so much I'm learning in this shit. Matter of fact, like, you, you, it, you gotta read you it, got gang. Me getting pressed and on Instagram. Yeah, I want y'all to read yeah, it because also, they trying to make it seem like I got I'm them convicted. I'm getting pressed by all the uh, civilians. Gang members on Instagram. Because you smart, gang. Because I said I'm not just going to throw yeah. that on your name. Niggas just, I ain't going to lie. I used to be like that too, gang. When I see a nigga in the room talking to the police, I automatically assume a nigga a snitch. Mm. But niggas got to know the circumstances. I dropped off a dead body. Mm. And so, remind you, I dropped off a dead body and knew everything. You got to go to a lot of people who told me this on the on, on the Internet. All broke niggas. That's has mad. not Has not really even been in an interrogation room Thank you. about y'all niggas been in jail about right? some real shit yeah you know what i'm saying about some real shit you could think you slick you could your first time you don't always say give me to my to my lawyer or give me to my bunt you feel me couple times but i've been in there multiple times so i can tell you that one time I'm like, hey, you know what to do with me. Take me straight where the homies are. I got at. crime me's, gang. None of my crime me's that never come say I told her. That's been 14 years. I didn't been to jail, nigga. You was in jail with me recently. I didn't been in jail 10 times after that. Right. We crime me's. I mean, yeah, yeah. I just know the ins and outs of that. So that's why I did mm -hmm. that. That's why I was like, let me see for myself before I agree to anything. Mm -hmm. But I know how I go. I got homies who didn't win in the interrogation room who didn't, who, who didn't tell, but... We like, why are you even speaking? Whatever. Yeah. And he like, cuz, I'm only saying I'm trying to wiggle my way up out of here. But I feel like a lot of people, when they say that, like, oh, you like, like, it's because it's kind of hard to like watch a whole interrogation, right? So mm -hmm. a lot of people, they just look for like See a quick, clip. easy synopsis of yeah. it. You know, like, oh, they're like, why he even talking? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You have to, yeah, that's not, that's not gonna count in terms of labeling someone a snitch for life. Right. You're gonna have to identify exactly what was said that was inappropriate. And that's I why never, we clean I never shit said up, no though. names. Remind you, and I knew the names. I know exactly who they was. Never said no names. But it looks I looked like, at it like these are my homies. Uh, it looks like it's multiple people that that identified this silver SUV. She said, it says, look, uh, they homie, look, let me tell you, the key witness is Cecil. That's what you got to keep in mind. So let's and go he's with his, them the whole go, time. Let's, let's, let's Where's Cecil at? Cecil? He's yeah. in there. Let's They're going to talk about Cecil. What part Cecil? Pause. What part we start reading now, Cecil, man? His name is Cecil Laurent. It's actually on the second page. You see, he's the crime me. Yeah, I, I guess 15 right. minutes later, when they left the crime scene, uh, Cecil phone calls. He the one basically told them everything, basically, bro. You feel me? Yeah. Cecil told them they went to the gun range before. 
That's how they knew to get the footage. Durant's phone was found yeah. at the crime scene immediately after. And he started yeah. calling it 15 minutes later. Yeah, they want to make it seem like I got them in trouble and they went to jail because of me, but everything is right here. You can read for yourself. They dropped the phone at the crime scene. They raided the house after that and found the same shell cases at the nigga house. Everything is right here for a nigga to read. So when, when T-Money was basically saying, he was saying that you said that his homie said that the Playboy Gangsta Crip shot that's in, him. That's in here, too. Is that's that in the, the Cecil t- thing, or is that, nah, that's, that's a, a different that's a, that's a different. That, okay. they, t- they were telling on each other and saying hella shit. You got to just read the whole shit. Basically, he, he said that his, that's in his, trial his, evidence right here. Right. It's basically saying a BB, a BB got shot in the hospital and told the police the Playboy Gangster shot him. You can read that right there in trial mm-hmm. evidence. And it also, I feel like, look, I'm not John Gotti, so why, said, why would they hide anything I had to say? Mm-hmm. Like, why would it not be in here? And Who the fuck also, am I? It also states that uh, a BB did not dispute that the Playboy Gangsters in the Mansfield were at yeah, war that, for that, over what? I don't over honestly drug, over drug. I don't think he said ability none of that. to sell drugs in that area. Yeah, territory. I don't yeah. know about none of that. He didn't that say just that, sound but like he a said lie. He didn't, but that's we, a police seven years. Report. We ain't been beefing with them niggas no fucking seven years. Like, feel me? Yeah, that should sound like cap. Yeah. So, what parts do you think stand out that 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 definitely because we don't that have got time them to go through this that definitely got them convicted and it Boy, takes you away right. from the case? Is your name anywhere? My shit, in, not in nowhere here? in this case, gang. So Cecil Laurent down. That crime me told everything. Long stuff. That's just that's just the bottom line. They want to make it seem like I got them convicted, but they crime me that there was they was in the car with the whole time that dropped his phone. He told everything. Yeah, it seems like they just kept coming back to the the description of the car thing. So what's what's your like main response to people who say that you describing the car was the the main thing that you did that was fucked up? That's the thing. I didn't describe the car. They said I told on Kevin too. I'm describing a car we in, and I'm telling Kevin is my homie. Mm. Yeah. Oh, so you're describing your own car. Yeah, they asking me, That's what did what you I, do yeah. when you wake? You, if you look at the video, they like, what did you do? Yeah. St- start us off from when you woke up. What mm-hmm. did y'all do? And I kept, every, I told them, is every, everything we did up until parking and left everything else out. Mm-hmm. That's why they can't show nothing else. We, me saying no names or telling no no niggas. Daddy, you got, if we touch the computer, it's going to mess up our, our streaming. Can what we pull mean? up the video of uh, them explain the, the the interrogation video. Can we uh can we do that? Can we put that on the screen? I don't know if we've actually done that I'm, here. Yeah, we yeah, need to pull we need to pull everything up, man. Yeah, yeah, I got them on me on here. They it. talking about you don't talk at all. What the fuck? You don't get blah blah blah. These is niggas. Hey, for because they for, don't understand the circumstances of me trying to help my homies. I got some for one for y'all niggas in the comments. When y'all talking to me, what? it's hard to talk to me about some G shit, cuz. On two, three. I know the ins and outs. I didn't. I didn't. I didn't smash homies with the homies for 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 shit that wasn't real before too. Really? You get what I'm saying? Yeah. Some to shit, take the DP back. Some shit that we sorry for. Whoa. You feel me? Like like. So you can't talk to me about no G shit about no oh. niggas snitching about no niggas going bad. I got good homies who actually it was a mix up at the end. Really. You know what I'm saying? I got homies who dead right now behind all type of bullshit. So that's why all y'all people in the comments, I'm not I'm not a nigga who listen or follow the lead of people uh, downplaying niggas' name. I'm going to give a nigga, I'm going to let a nigga uh, plead his case or either clear shit up before I even throw dirt on a nigga or shit like that. I do this shit for real. I've, I've been in this, the same they, situations. Nah, for sure, gang. Uh, and the thing, I'm not even mad. Like, I'm, I'm not I'm even mad. Like the, yeah. I'm not even mad because I'm a smart nigga, gang. Like, it's a lot of broke-ass niggas on the internet talking about, he can never come around me, bitch. I would never come around you anyway. You're broke, <laughs> nigga. We don't got nothing in common. So the reason the reason why I'm, I'm going light with what I'm saying, because I'd rather you drive the car through yeah. the case, and then we'll, we'll get by because we want so to so I'm, I'm not biased I just about it here hear you out. What's before, right is right, what's wrong is wrong. Because can't, we, can't, we can't read through the whole shit. So after no, we know. go through this, we, I'm going to read it. And, and I was hoping we could. Like, I was bro, hoping we could <laughs> run through this shit real quick <laughs> we, so I you mean, would know everything. Like, you know what I'm saying? You got to drive through the... Yeah, you got to narrate. You got to narrate because we don't know the I should have highlighted this shit. Because I was saying, I'm not even going to lie to you. I'm going to keep it I'm not finna just like... Long story short, my name is nowhere in here. You got trial evidence. You got everything Cecil said. You got everything they found. You got to just scam through it, bro. You don't see my name nowhere in here. Nowhere I got a nigga in trouble. Nothing I said got a nigga convicted. 
All you gotta do is scan through this shit. And then, hold on, Google. let's get this clear. Is this this is the paperwork? The paperwork. Them niggas pulling Ain't up a poli- they nothing. They pulling up. I, a, I know they niggas pulling who up had a police shit missing too. Before. Nigga, there's everything. All this 15 is, pages. This is, this is the it. Summary. Penal codes and everything. This is a trial summary. I'm asking. This is yeah. for, this for is a, what got the boys convicted. The Overall, what got the, the boys convicted? The paperwork they say is 400 pages of everything See what that I'm happened saying? in their case. I'm saying. I'm saying because. But this is this is the sum. This is the overall. So the bullshit should be in here if it was in here. Everything. You're going to read it, bro. That's why I gave y'all all copies, bro. Mm. So y'all can read it. You know, you missing what I'm saying. This is, the everything. Pill. Everything this is the Everything is in paper. there that got them niggas convicted. Okay. E- every, they ain't leave nothing out. I'm talking about from... Ain't nothing everything, out of here. Nothing from the, you're gonna read it, gang. You're gonna see it. Them nigga statements, everything they said they ain't leave nothing out that motherfucker. Uh, I'm just being clear because I know I didn't so have homies I said who should, brought something that paperwork I said should be in there. And certain pages wasn't in there. Yeah. Nah. No, as far as this document, it's on Google. This is this is everything. This is everything, everything, everything on Google. I printed it but out on Google from Google. As far as the case, you know they got police reports. They got they had a whole Case where they had to fight the death penalty. Yeah. They, I, I really know both sides of, of what's right. going on. He know I got plenty of cousins over there where he at, and sure. I was. You see where a BB's one way ticket was the next day to Atlanta. Mm. You get what I'm saying? That was my boy. Like okay. we used to be in the to it. See, yeah, it says that right too. here. It says that. I mean, they did a lot of shit that made I mean, I they don't want. They don't want to look. Guilty, it's gonna look bad. The fact they said a crime partner told on them. They don't want to make their hood look bad. So why not make a op? We already beef. Make a PBG look bad. And so rapper, is, he, is Cecil gonna, Laurent still in the Mansfield to this day? I ain't seen him. Oh, okay. I don't know. I don't, I don't know nothing about their case or like nothing about nothing. You get me? Because I knew I had nothing to do. I just knew he snitched. When I when I see the nigga in there, he be in yellows. You, yeah. see, you see me in Curse. blues in there. Period. You feel me? I'm in blues. That nigga walk around in yellows. <laughs> but they want to make it see. It's going to make their hood look bad, telling the truth that y'all dropped the phone. Y'all killed a, pre- look, y'all killed a pregnant lady, allegedly, and a baby, and y'all drop y'all phone at the crime scene. That's what started the whole investigation. Y'all want to make it seem like I put the police on y'all when everything is in here. I'm not nobody special. It would be in here. Because it seems to me with, a, with an eyewitness like you that they would have for sure made you go to trial. And, well, you conduct that. And second of all, there's no way that you're going to get 16 to 20 years. For a double murder. For bro. a double With somebody homicide. telling on you. With the child. Mm-hmm. With the you child. With the child. I know niggas that got 40 for robbery, bro. But, and, but then it's also like attempted murder of you and, and you know. He is. Two, two attempted, attempted murders and two double murders. And you telling me y'all got 16, 15, 16 years in fire camp? My best friend. <laughs> they was in jail with him also. He got a double murder the same way. Two attempts. They didn't go in a batting. They know that he was just accessory to the crime. And... He got 80 plus years. He actually used to live on Wooster. You know exactly what I'm talking about. You know what I mean? So, yeah. like I said, it's so much shit and this that shit comes so along complicated, with it. though. If I wasn't ever a rapper, bro, this shit, them niggas would have been shaking my hand every <laughs> day trying to be my it, friend. Yeah. The Regal- fact that I'm a rapper, Anything bro, 14 that, years later, they try to br- they have nothing on me, gang. I squabble when I go to the county. I catch all my phase. I walk the main line. Y'all niggas see me. Don't say nothing. Y'all want to say I told on a nigga 14 years later. Hey, look, look. One to, 14 hey, years. For nigga, all of us crazy. niggas who rapping right now, cuz you got it. We had, I, I wouldn't, I won't even say you got to tread lightly because shit like this going to surface regardless. With anything in your past that niggas can make up an issue with or it can be an issue, it's going to come out because especially when you hot. Niggas gonna try to knock you down. And I'm not signed to nobody. I'm independent. I don't have a manager. I've never signed you. You said the nigga who tried to sign you. I mean, tried to sign sign me numerous of times, bro. Numerous of times, bro. Like I'm saying, this don't start with whack. He been. He oh been, yeah, you never got to that, dude. Yeah, this don't because it don't have nothing to do with whack. I want to go directly to the nigga who's going to whack, who came up here and did the interview and no, tried to promote his artist. Just the other saying day. how you get to how did whack? Is whack, because they friends. You a whack fake beef? And the whack sign, whack sign, blue face, but and, and, and we don't get along with they hood. So long story short, he don't like me anyway. And he he tried to act like he didn't know who I was, and mm-hmm. we, we beef for schoolyard, blase, blase, it's no not big deal. Today. You know it's what I'm saying? Cigarettes. I don't have no problem with blue face, so I guess. Whack 100, he gonna, he gonna be against me anyway. It's no biggie, like, you feel me? Right. I'm, a, I'm, I'm a nigga that did it my way. If I was a rat, why a nigga try to sign me six months ago? You the one told me to go put up the promotion, the billboard for the Roxy show, and, and calling me, telling me, giving me little pointers to how to do shit. The minute you couldn't get 20% on the Empire deal, now you mad. You feel me? 
that's crazy. It is what it is. I ain't gonna speak on certain niggas because it was a big rapper out here who told me don't sign with that nigga. That's funny. And I see him running around with the same nigga he told me who was telling me that nigga janky don't sign with that nigga. Mm, like, feel me? It's, I'm just peeping the whole play. I'm like these is all niggas that's mad about rap, man. Cause this is about some gangster shit. Nigga would have addressed me 14 years ago. Nigga and I would have been dealt with. Because nigga. they still got phones. Come on, man. Niggas be like, come on, man. 14 years later, this is crazy. And niggas would niggas would have addressed me 14 years ago, and I would have been dealt with if this was about some gangster shit. Okay, so could we go to somewhere in here where you can click any? You gonna click? Hold on. Where where are some of the key points that got them locked up for real? All good right. podcasting. Yeah, let me, DW. That's good podcasting. Oh, Kicking me. the ball good down the podcasting. field right there. You see that? Yeah. Let me go. Let me Strong go. potting. Uh, mm -hmm. come Harry on. Potter. Mm -hmm. Come on. Harry Potter. I ain't playing. Yeah, let's do it. I'm going to go for you it. You trying to be the pod father? I'm going to go for it. I, no. I would say the key points. <laughs> Just have me the third one. I'm was, happy with the third one. I got to find three, it. But three, is the, three is a great number for me. You will find it, but in here you will see. Cecil basically lost his phone at the crime scene. I Cecil Laurent, which is they crime me. Then you see he just gave statements okay, and told everything. Basically, Cecil Laurent, he lost his phone at the at the crime scene. Right. And you were reading here. I gotta find what page it That's is. But they talk they talk four. about all that. What page? That's on page four. So it's page four. It says Laurent cell phone. So once they picked Laurent up, he just gave up everything. He I'm told her we was at the gun range the day before. So you telling me I knew the, they I'm was at the gun range? Read it for me. It's look. Laurent's cell phone was found at the crime scene immediately after the shooting. Phone records show Laurent had received the incoming call approximately 15 minutes prior to the shooting. Laurent's phone had also received two calls from a number registered to Romero, which is a BB. Romero's mother. mother. Yeah, Romero's little K Swiss. Yeah, so little yeah. Swiss mother. So they, it said, uh, 15 received two phone calls from Romero's mother. Approximately 40 minutes after the shooting, both calls went unanswered, but had been routed through the same cell phone tower as the call that had been received prior to the shooting. Phone records from the day before the shooting, the shooting showed that Laurent had called BB's phone in the morning and again in the afternoon. The same cell phone towers that they were talking to each other or at the LAX firing range on May 4th. So, and then it says on May 6th, the day after the shooting, Romero had a friend buy him a one-way ticket to Atlanta. Another friend told the police that Re that Romero was said in July or August that he had left Los Angeles and could not return because he had did something bad. When a BB was arrested after the shooting, the police searched his residence and found large quantities of marijuana, That's the page uh, I was looking semi automatic for. pistol, and various kinds of live ammunition. Some of those live ammunition rounds were the same type that were found at the crime scene. Yeah. They don't want to talk about it's all that. One though. of the facts. They don't want to talk you about what all I'm that. Saying? Without. What got y'all crack was dropping that cell phone and going home, getting your mama phone and calling that phone, thinking it was whatever y'all was. And it's after seeing they come pick it up. That's what got you boys crack. And then when they go pick Cecil up, he tell everything. You're going to see it all in here. Mm. They, that's part they're not talking about, though. You know, we got to talk about all this shit, man. We don't want to leave no, that out. No, no, no. They, they don't want to talk about. <laughs> no, they don't, they don't want to talk about they part. Yeah, let's talk about what got y'all convicted and got y'all boys in trouble. I'm saying niggas want to make sure that they they want to throw it on you, on your name, no matter what, anyway. But when we did the pod the other day, they were making this out to be you saying, you told on me, so it's okay for me to tell on you. No, nah, that's, that's why that's why they told me stop going live. The mm -hmm. homie said that. He said, bro, yeah. stop going live. Because yeah. you can <laughs> say shit it. and they confusing and flipping it. I see I made a post, no. whack, flipped it. I'm like, oh, okay. You I see. kind now of I'm be starting confused to, I can't too. beat the internet. Because you be popping it and yeah, you really don't want to pay attention. Yeah. So yeah. you're yeah. going the middle and, and not they flip it. While you pop, you can flip it. Because you went to explaining it. Then you went to like, you niggas want a feature for me. Popping my shit because it's true. You seen that text message I just showed you where the boy mom, that's the boy that they just. Speak on that. The little boy whacking them just brought up here. That's his mom. Right. This is about rap. With so, my son. So that kid who came on the podcast, his mom DM'd you and basically said, and I mean, this is your mom rap. could always go rogue. Your mom could always she say some Mansfield shit. She's from Mansfield, too, though. Yeah. She from Mansfield. Right. So she know the whole case, and that's her homie. And she was saying, this is about rap. Basically, she was kind of telling you from what I saw in the screenshot that she doesn't have an issue with you, that she doesn't think that Much you really success. fucked up or anything. 
much success. This is about rap with my son. He's only 15. So I'm like, okay, he's 15. So he was only one when this happened. This nigga dissed me. <laughs> this nigga made this song. You was one when this took place. <laughs> you was a one year old, bro. Stay in your place. You a little kid. And tell me he didn't ask me for a feature. <sighs> It's all about you rap, bro. Like, I swear, bro. Every nigga that's angled to come, he come up here and promoted his artist. If this was strictly about that and some gangster shit, this would have this would have been dealt with, nigga, off the internet fourteen years ago in the alley somewhere, nigga. Would a nigga would have took me out, nigga, if it was if I told on the nigga. So you're not gonna do an alley cocaine diss track? Nah, hell no. Nah. Shout out Ali Cocaine. Do your thing. Shout, Shout out, out Ali Cocaine. This don't got, But he just promoting his artist while he doing this. They think they, they think they about to take my career down. But you gotta stay facts when you say a nigga told though, cause I, same shit. Y'all pulling up, I could pull it all up too and show I ain't, and show I, the. I don't know. I I don't know how I'm gonna take it. You know what I'm saying? When niggas get to speaking on me like that, it might get me out of pocket too. Like you know what I'm saying? Well, like going live and shit. Let me tell you, going live. That's not good. That's out of pocket when we got issues. Yeah, I do. I do. I trip sometimes on homies, on everybody. I'm insane, nigga. I be going crazy online sometimes to the point where I say shit the wrong, wrong way. Yeah, but and I, they flip it. Real niggas know exactly what the fuck I'm saying. Cause, yeah. but everybody else like, hey, you heard it? He said this, that, this, that. So you, you, you giving you fueling the fire for In niggas way. to to still mix up your name, cause mm -hmm. cause like. If you do it like way, yep. he only did like a ten minute live or some shit, mm -hmm. and then that turns into you know a one minute clip on Instagram, and then YouTube, that turns into short. a headline that is like one sentence you said throughout the shit so right. that makes it kind of easy for people to spin go, whatever narrative they want to do. Up, mm -hmm. Dig ourselves a hole. I always to where thought, we I always thought snitching man was telling somebody name and telling like telling on somebody and helping somebody get convicted in a case. Mm -hmm. That's what, but that's what they're saying. Yeah, but they, I got, that, I got that's the, what they saying. That's did. what they saying. That's what you hear. To but do that's today. why I got the I got the court. I mean, I got the papers to prove. And this and they can't say this penal codes on every paper right here. This is on Google scholarship what? or whatever that shit called. You could find it. This the whole case and then go pull it up. Bet you, you pull these numbers up anywhere and this whole case gonna come up. It's nothing to hide. Mm. It's just I'm a rapper game. I feel like if the nigga would have if this was a really a I told on the nigga. I would have been dealt with 14 years ago. You telling me I'll wait, I'll start rapping, and you niggas tell me I told on a nigga, but y'all be y'all just seen me three months ago. Mm. Y'all asking me for features. Why you want to do work with me? Why you want to sign a rat? Why you want to do a song with a rat? Because that was one thing he did say is that he felt like he fucked up a little bit by by withholding information that he knew about you. That's not cool. Uh, that's, nigga, a rat, you kill crazy. him. Yeah. And nigga, that's rats, crazy. you smoke him. You kill rats. Yeah. Ain't no exceptions. But why? he was saying that but the you reason don't even know why me. because don't they even didn't want to uh, fuck up a trial, the trial listen, or some shit. He been, cause he been sentenced since 2017. This trial was in 27. We in 2024. Yeah. Just come on. Everything they saying just sound dumb. Yeah, Swiss went to the pit at like 18. He been in the pen. Yeah, he been in the pit. I, I it's was, not making sense. So it's he like. He was there at the end of 2017 when I got there. Mm -hmm. You remember we was supposed to it's do like, it. It's like, what, six years ago? Five, did. six years since he been sentenced? This yeah. going to be the last time I talk about it. I want to come on the biggest platform, talk about it, and be done with it. And whoever else feel like I'm a rat, they could just see me in traffic, man. Niggas don't got bigger artillery artillery than me, nigga. But I'm really. You feel me? I'm outside every day, nigga. For nigga, nigga, I'm a, a watch. Never mind, yeah. I'm be outside every day if a nigga feel like he want to do something. Okay. I'm be on Pico, nigga. I been on Pico. I ain't going What's nowhere. Up, I ain't changing Gassy no routes. Y'all beefing with GBO Gas. GBO, he, oh, I, I don't even know him. I don't even pay him no attention. I say, I, 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 you too. I seen him in front yeah, of the Nipsey came Nero. In, he came Ooh, to Joe's Market when it was closed. Girl, I'm and shit. Beefing with you. They shut Joe's Market. They, Mar they shut Joe's Market down. I beef with you. He they said. shut Joe's Market down four months ago. He came to a store that's closed and shut down. I mean, I'm. Jesus. Listen, he got. <laughs> I just my, seen that shit. He yeah. got my deal with that bullshit. I laughed at him. I'm he saying, how? Hold on. One thing I want to know is how niggas start beefing with her. Like, because we go into everybody, everybody section, whatever. You know, of course, I've we, never said a word. Everybody's about at a, a Everybody even at a point where we don't even just be right there all day. Every, especially not us. You know, they catch the loopholes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We, we them niggas that like oh insane. I'll meet up with you right now. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> you, yeah, yeah. Come we'll on, show man. up too. They three. talk about oh yeah, I'm in the alley. We're brick baby at like man, definitely not in the alley. They gonna right, probably right. hit that ladder. He saw right, right. he off. A nigga pulled a camera out on him. He ain't even cracking. I'm saying, how did how y'all start beefing? That was the thing. With me and him? Yeah, y'all. 
I don't know. Nah, we don't got no beef. This nigga just came out of nowhere and just jumped in my DM. He just That's picks names out of a hat. He's just yeah. beefing with anybody. I think it's whoever got some, got some type right? of popularity. Oh, he just man. come at. But me, I don't argue with niggas on the internet. I want to see a nigga energy face to face. I want to see if a nigga got because I'm 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 on some I'm active. He's a Long Beach native, I'm isn't he? Crack in on a nigga. I, I, when nigga pull a phone uh, out on me and try to know. say anything to know. me, I don't know where care for. I don't know. I'm getting I'm getting off on. Is he he gang bang? It's gonna make the internet. We're gonna go viral. I don't even know. Do we gang bang? So he's. I think he's affiliated with the 50 Brick Boys. Ah, uh, you think? I'm damn near. Uh, because, all right, let's get to it. GBO, <laughs> you went the wrong way. Yeah, this yeah, is how that's all I'm to <laughs> Let's get into it. That's all GBO I'm gas and goes I'm missing. I fuck with Java and them. Okay. Java and them boy pulled up on me. He like, hey, man, gas and try to come back. Gas and try to come back. And he wants to do an interview at No Jumper. I said, he got to apologize about the Nipsey shit. He like, all right, that's cool. Da, 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 da. So mind you, I'm thinking about it. I'm like, I can't have this clown on my platform. So I just. <laughs> he done so much fucked up shit to so many different he neighborhoods. That... Like, and then you was, didn't he pop in front of your house or some shit? Like he just did. Some... <laughs> oh, you too. Y'all got me too. <laughs> so yeah. it's like, I don't know. But I know you're willing to do an interview with him after that. Like, I don't know about that. Exactly. And I, as mm. I, it was a gang of factors where I'm like, you know what? He did too much. He's a clown. I ain't fucking with him. So. But I never had a conversation with him. I was going to let him come on. I was like, you can apologize to Nipsey. You're a troll. You get what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. da, da, da. That's so, basically what he's doing. He's trolling. He's going around trolling. So him. when they reach back out, I'm like, I'm cold. It's so Block Boy 2.0. Remember Block Boy? The nigga who died. Yeah. And I, yeah, yeah like, them type of niggas, I don't even I don't attention. even understand it, though. Like, yeah. You know what I'm saying? I don't understand it because literally all cut doing is going around saying, Y'all not killing nobody when we come right here. Kill me then. Right. It's and like I, death by gangbanger. Yeah, like suicide by gangbanger. Like I want to see y'all be for real. Come kill me, and I don't think that's a good message for <laughs> Cud to be sending. Like this is a this some some genuine shit to Cud. Like you know what I'm saying? I don't know what Cud went through growing up that Cud he wants to like feel like that. Maybe niggas was fucking with Cuz, or maybe niggas wasn't fucking with him. You know what I'm saying? It got him. Doing all that shit, that shit ain't cool though. That clout must be good, cause he ready to do anything to get it, right? Damn, cause you know what I'm mean, saying. Super. Yeah, I'm like, I, cause niggas will put you up top for real out here. For, Ooh, man, I found another part. Hold on, let's see. Yeah, fuck GBO, yeah, guys. That. That's what <laughs> I'm saying. Yeah. Yeah. Has he been to the county in recent part, memory? Oh, what page is this? Does he get locked up? GBO guys are going yellows or PC. Oh, he's no not. Good. He don't. He too lightweight. They go on so page six. Coming? Everybody go to page six. I think that's where I'm at. I don't know. Where they talking about when the lawyers are talking get, about he wants to get a uh, no go on page full six. immunity. We talking about Lorraine where he where they picked him up in an in interrogation page room. Page mm -hmm. six right here. Page six. Yep, right six. Here. All right, look right here at the top. You see Lorraine. Mm -hmm. You want me to read this exchange? Laurent. Yeah, read the read the whole thing. Okay. The trial court asked, "Is Mr. Abibi's name mentioned by Mr. Laurent? Who's Mr. Laurent again?" That's, Cecil Cecil Cecil. That's their homie, okay. that, the homie the that told him. As someone who he'd spoken to before he went to the location, to which the prosecutor replied, I don't believe so. The following colloquy then occurred. I do not know what that word is. C-O-L-L-O-Q-U-Y. I got to look that up. No, no, no. The court. I need to. I need you to clarify something. As to Mr. Abibi, what did Laurent say about him being there or not being there? Prosecutor. He said he believed that Mr. Abibi was there because he is the big homie to Romero. He said that Mr. Abibi admitted being there during the crime. The court admitted to whom? Prosecutor admitted to Mr. Laurent. The court, okay, at some point after the crime. Prosecutor, afterward. Mr. Laurent says that after the crime, he went to Abibi's residence and Mr. Abibi admitted that he had been there. Okay. So, leave, so what's going on there? They exactly? leaving everything okay. out. This, okay, all, this so is more that they leaving out and even at the top up here. He's he, he telling everything. They trying to make it seem like I'm the eyewitness. I told on them boys. Listen, right? Also, it was rumored, because I don't want to say I know this, but it was rumored that Lil' Swiss didn't have a phone at the time, but he had Cecil's phone. I don't know. And he's the even. one that dropped the phone. Lil' Swiss? I ain't going to lie. He, was, he did drop something. I think he dropped the gun when he was shooting, too, and he dropped the phone. He was scared. They know Baby Skull with that shit. 
They exactly. know how we coming. They know how we come. Them niggas scared. So I did. I don't know when he was shooting. He did try to pick up something. It was like fuck or whatever. I don't know. Allegedly, you feel me? Some shit. Like I know everything that happened, but like I don't. You get me? We ain't gonna talk too much. Yeah, that's what I was but saying. Allegedly, we, we this is when he dropped the phone. Allegedly, yeah, yeah, some shit. Yeah. Man, that's what I'm saying. This is the part they leaving out that they they trying to make it seem like I told on the boys and got them convicted. So that's like that's the narrative that they paying to the fans. But and this I shit in black and white with every everything. This they did they ever did they bring any of this up? Uh, none of this was brought up, right? Mm. Why they didn't bring none of this up? They kept it kind of narrow, narrow, to the real set. short, because mm. that's that's how you that's and, how you paint a narrative. And in the end, it felt like they just were kind of bringing it all back to describing the car, which you're saying is not accurate. Exactly. Mm. Yeah. And the whole time, people think that I'm guessing who was in it. I know who was in the car. Mm. I know everything. I know what kind of car it was. I know everything. Then my homies. So at did the end you, of the day. Did you ever get called to the stand? Sorry for the cut and off. When I got locked up. I did it that time. When I was locked up, they kept coming to my cell asking me to, to go to court for that shit. Did I, you did you make it to the stand? Yeah, I went once. All right. And I went up there like, man, them my friends, them my people, they would never do nothing like that. These 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 y'all got the wrong people. I'm straight up. That's why I told them. And this record did they play this recording? They didn't once play you none didn't of this shit. Can we play that recording? It looked bad though, yeah, it looked hella bad. <laughs> No, I do. But people don't know I dropped a dead body off. They think I got cracked doing yeah, a crime or something. I feel like we haven't even acknowledged this, how insane having to drop off a dead pregnant woman, like your friend's girlfriend at the fucking hospital is, and just like how out of the ordinary the situation is, I don't know what is, to man. say, but I know I ain't tell it on them niggas. For sure. Because if I wanted to tell it on them niggas, man, this should be all in here, nigga, bang. They would have been dead, bang. You get life for double murder and killing a baby. We all know that. Period. All right, let's play it. Uh, I want to say nine. So I can't even hear it. Oh, you can't hear uh, it? They picked me up about around 8.30, 8.45. Okay. I want to say this happened about 9.15. So what, what time did you guys get there? About? Mm, uh, I don't think I did. What time did you guys get there? I woke up at 8 on the dock. You can hear it? No. Nah. Nah. You can hear it? I can hear it a little bit. Oh, you can? You can't hear it. Talk for a little bit. He said they going to the yard. Open up your, take, take okay. those, got open the speakers. Come to the grocery store. Start in Sacramento. This had to be alright. She gets up yeah. every morning at nine because she goes to work at ten. Huh? So this week, when I talked to her, the whole time I'm describing, so I'm describing my morning how I woke up. So you guys got to the location. We were there at nine thirty. We were there at nine thirty. Same thing I did. Yeah. Why they didn't drop the whole video? That's why I'm like, they trying to make their little shit look cool. How long were you guys you get it. That's it. They gotta drop the whole video. They trying to make me seem like a snitch. So, but in that paperwork, was that a police statement saying that you nothing, said it was a nothing. great SUV? Because it was something that they posted that said that. That's you probably said a police it a... report that never made it to court. Me, me saying did five different colors of car. Yeah, they can't go off a police report because I saw something. seven different gangs that we beef with. Do you have like, who y'all beef with? Shit, we y'all know who we beef with. We beef with everybody around this motherfucker. Do we have the original whack post link anywhere, or we would have to dig through the Instagram? That wouldn't even be. To what? Them niggas keep posting screenshots. Where he, Cause he posted something and it was some paperwork and it said like he said, but it didn't say. Cause like in real paperwork, gotta say your name then this. Cause it was in the middle of an interrogation. Yeah, I see said that. that uh, I, I keep forgetting your last name. That don't matter. Though. Yeah. Uh, that he had said that the SUV was silver. So that's why everybody kept, I mean, was gray. Or all that would have made it like to court. That. If I did something to affect them boys, it all would have made the court. I'm nobody yeah. special, gang. Yeah. Why is none of that in here? Yeah. And you're willingly admitting that you said that you said a different color and man, all that and stuff. I, so and it's and like remind you, I didn't have to. I know exactly who it is. Oh, yeah, you don't need a memory. Yeah. <laughs> I know exactly who it is. That's what people was confused. They thinking I'm really having to guess who was in the car what type of car it was, man, listen. The my homies. I know exactly who shot at us, man. If I wanted to tell them somebody, man, I come on. I would say who told them the nigga. You could have gave first you was first la with not, not even just first, first names. Last names. I could have gave last names. <laughs> nigga told stories. Nigga, I know these niggas. Like, come on, man. I wanted to tell them somebody. So, so, so whole thing is I'm this saying is cuz didn't tell. Niggas is mixing up the story, sharing clips, just clips. That's every, and not this the whole everything. Thing. Yeah, like, that's, like why y'all putting out a, a fucking mini clip? And that is really show about me where music. I show me where I told them. Nigga, I said, cause I know these niggas first and last names. 
Show me where I got a, a nigga convicted or a nigga went to jail because something I said. Yeah, I mean, I never want to be the one like really making the the decision of like who who did something right, who did something wrong. I can say on a personal level, after having listened to the other side and then listened to your side, I'm not really seeing it. Like what I'm looking think? at the, what do you think, Adam? I, he seems good. I mean, to me, Man. like I'm I'm looking You're at it thinking I'm not really seeing it. So maybe that's why I maybe wanted I them to, to be hear here. the rebuttal. Cause I know they've been to jail before know. and they can read through this shit and I want them yeah, to yeah. both because I want y'all both to be I'm here. A, at, at the table of Crips, I'm at the table with the Crips. When when we all in one place, yeah. I'm at the table with them Crips. And you know what I'm saying? Just I still I still gotta really skim through and read through yeah. myself. That's why I bought still. you your own copy, man. I want you to make copies His and give it to niggas. Nowhere but in but here. I'm gonna tell you, uh, the like original I said, discovery I, had his it's name. It's always in. Three sides, and then once one side tell it, it's a thousand sides after that. Um, who got their own decisions or whatever on it? Like that one. I keep texting me for my weed. Niggas keep and yeah. niggas I'm always got to get to the truth. Right Donnie just put some weed right there to fall. Off. Oh yeah, Shit. see. I'm gonna roll another. <laughs> did you know this was? Did you know that niggas was gonna try to do some bullshit like that? I mean, they've been calling me, trying I'm to get me on the phone. So I figured they time. they call it. They call themselves trying to um. What's the, I don't know the words. What's the word? Uh, extort me like let's get them i just want to get i just want to get them on the phone and talk to them had they like ever, some like they got they something ever over my head uh, this situation that's what ever I'm in your life never just like never first, have you been you never, never had to catch a face never never, never. i've been never to jail sent the paper they never sent, sent it to the to hood, hood said nothing. Nothing, nothing never i see these niggas i ain't got i ain't got not a scratch didn't got on me about this shit man i mean because seasick been in the county for how long they ain't sent it through, bro. They no, ain't nothing. Sent it no through. homies don't like, even know about this. They you know what I'm saying? I'd seen, I was selling with Lil Skull when he came down from, from Pelican Bay. I didn't hear none of this that. This is my we first time ever about hearing about this. Case. No, I've never heard your name. That's why I'm like, even back then when they first came to jail, that's why I was trying to tell the people, the messenger that they had sent, like, just tell Switch to call me because you know we've talked about everything that that that's went on and i ain't when, never when heard when swiss seen me in name. court he was full of smiles i'm chained up with little swiss we come in the court seasick in there too we all at lax swiss in there nigga he, he smiles when he see me he been trying all them niggas be trying to talk to me but i ain't no talkative nigga that's why I'm, I'm, I'm gonna come on here once and try to and talk about it one time and i'm gonna leave it alone like these same niggas tried to sign me this shit about music bro did you hit 4,800 or 40? I've been through everywhere. I've been that, through all with that. the gangsters was all over and there. All, and all through that. the county, bro. This 14, you know, I didn't, I didn't been to jail probably 10 times after yeah, this. No, I, I didn't it, been to Wayside, yeah. 4,800. All through that shit. The dorms, 5,600 in the dorms. I didn't been through all that shit. Because, you know, bro had the floor over there. Yeah. Swiss had the floor over there. So I would have like got dealt with it. You would have got dealt with as soon as you hit that floor. Like, that's that's my reason like for saying this. this. I know. Is, is, I know. Niggas, you know what I'm yeah. saying? When niggas be politics, he got, be the, the, he got the whole floor. So whatever he say, if he got right. something that show, all the gangsters would have moved. It was a gangster module. Thank you. From top to bottom, east side gangsters, west side gangsters. Me personally, too, if a nigga told there. on me, man, I'm going to tell I'm gonna tell everybody in the hood and put the paperwork out soon, ASAP, as soon as it happened. I'm not waiting 14 years. Nigga told on me. As soon as I get, as soon as the trial over with done, it's coming out. Yeah, I would have gave my mama the work. Like, hey, here. My Come mama, on, the man. homies, <laughs> everybody oh, yeah, yeah. would have had a copy fucking I mean, with me. Yeah. The Shit fact, that, and another fact, y'all gotta our, look at the, name, If I was never a rapper, thing. gang, that's if I was thing. never a rapper, th these niggas would have never, like, tried to even say nothing about this. Mm. Of the fact that not. I'm a rapper and they tried to sign me and I said, no, T Wayne tried to sign me. Uh, and I was like, I'm cool. It you know feels I mean? like this is, like, what it is to be a rapper these days is that because like think about the Greedo shit right I felt like that shit just kind of came and went it was like you know but they they gonna find some little nugget something to try Man. to drag your ass bro. because being a rapper bro. you don't know who don't like you it's so many people like bro i be state to state i didn't seen the craziest shit like it's niggas that don't know you but they bitch listen to your music or they right. kids and they just don't like you or niggas and remind you these, these are niggas i grew up with too bro like you always get problems from the niggas you grew up with when mm -hmm. they life not going accordingly to how it's supposed to go and they just seeing me doing shows buying fifty thousand dollar rolexes mm. i'm getting my teeth done i was i noticed that they look good these niggas haters <laughs> man it always comes from the broke niggas that you grew up with boozy said that like that's why you got to get out of town you know what i'm saying they so, seeing me taking trips to hawaii miami it's been recent lives. I just had to go over it. When you was, I think you was getting into it with the boys by the beach. 
Yeah. Then, uh, yeah. It was a recent live. Was that after Wack? Were you Wack had you go? I don't was, know. So many niggas stay in my DM. I go at all type of niggas, man. I ain't gonna was, lie. I don't uh, pick and choose. I ain't gonna but lie. But you was just like kind of taunting, and I don't really see that side of you a lot. But you was just like your yeah, because I ain't no buster. I'm a gangster fool in front of everybody. So, and I don't know. I don't know if I look like a nice guy, dressed like a good guy. I don't know what these niggas think, gang. But when niggas see me, I'm a I'm I'm burnt. Like I crash. Like if a nigga ever take a camera on and put it out and start recording me, I'm a fire on that nigga and crash out. I'm like I'm really like that. I'm, I don't like I'm saying right, they, sad, they thinking they plan they thinking they plan with just like a regular nigga I don't know like, that's why I got tats on my face your hood and all, I'm like, spitting, you pull out a camera I'm spitting right on there, a nigga I'm turning dead. up on a nigga that's why I'm, that's probably why they scared to address me because I've never been addressed with this for but 14 was that years you jugging that I thought it was the Beach Boys but was that you jugging that those niggas that was trying to put the paperwork up was that all about Cause you had mentioned, I can't even really remember. And I ain't tried to say that. I be going at so many nothing, niggas. But you, you had mentioned like, oh, you just see your homie die on the front on the camera. But then before that, you was talking about extras died that way. So it was just not. And we all yeah, have to go going, into that. I've been that going, don't have nothing to do with been, that. It might be I've been some going at shit. them niggas all. I stay going at them niggas. You feel me? Yeah. Honestly, I don't care about schoolyards. You feel me? So most likely, I'm going at the Venice show lines talking about them niggas. Yeah. It is what it is. I was born into it. You feel me? I don't like them niggas. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? It ain't yeah. nothing. No, I just thought you that had been the beginning of the Mansfields reaching out to you about the paperwork type shit. Ahead, ahead Man, I can't even tell you the timeline. I, I wish I could yeah, tell you the timeline. I, 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 it's so I'll many niggas in my DM. Yeah, 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 it'd I'll be so many niggas too, coming too. at me. I don't know. I argue with niggas all day. I'll be <laughs> bored. I'll be, I'll be chilling. I don't got nothing else to do. I'll get at a nigga all day. I they, was watching they jumping the, my DM, jumping the nation. What's happening? I, I was watching the hood vlog that meet you up? did a little while back, and I was like, damn, like that. It is like such a unique thing that your your area is like all apartments and shit, right? Yeah. That kind of like changes like the local flavor of like how everybody communicates and is around each other and shit. I guess Long Beach, a lot of parts of Long Beach like that, but it's definitely like a different different vibe when I was watching that shit. Do you know yeah, where no, he's for sure? Go ahead. Okay. Nah, I was just basically uh, agreeing with what he was saying. Nah, it's a lot of apartments and shit over there. Like, we got gentrified. It's like, man, West LA, like, you, it, it's kind of remind me of Long Beach in a way. Y'all you got know gentrified? That's a Jewish neighborhood. Right. Yeah, 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 a lot of they, those areas, huh? They, they, like, it's they a Jewish area, too. Move us from right downtown. Yeah. All down, like, side, 21st and shit. Where <laughs> like, we you go over one street be, and, always and it's Beverly Wood. Like, so, you got, like, a lot of normal ass people trying to just move into the neighborhood and get a little bit of a surprise. Right, right. We get females moving in from Sweden in the hood, Japan. They move over there. What do you do? Just holler at them? Uh, Lil Ruga was living in my hood too from uh, Chicago. Yeah. Yeah, he lived on the block he lived too. On the good side nah, he lived, lived on the block too. over there. Like, there's a Lil Ruga, like Ruga's Garth little brother or something. There. Yeah. The homies was telling me, I was like, yeah, that's crazy. Damn. He moved though. He don't live over there no more. He been moved, but I'm like, damn. I would, I, would, I would fuck around running to the nigga try to do a song. I was listening to his music. I was like, damn, he lived in the set the whole time. But a, moving from Chicago over there is gentrified. So to, looking at that, you probably don't. Oh, I'm in a cool area because yeah, how sure. Chicago That's look with I the weather and all the shit. About the area, yeah. so it's on the borderline of Beverly Wood, Beverly Hills. It like, don't look bad so over there. So it don't like it's where you see those apartments. Soon as you pass the shopping center, it's like beautiful houses and all that yeah, shit. Like everything across 17th or 18th, like it's it cool. just turning. What's, yeah. What's, What's the other nigga? Scandalous. We got. What's the other nigga? Scandalous from BF. Yeah, he just took a picture with me at We Jamming, begging me to repost it. He in, he in on this too. That's one of the whack little puppies. I'm like, damn, I had to peep the I had to peep the play. I'm like, these all niggas that just begged me to come to the studio or sign, and I t I told them niggas no. Yeah, you that's me? crazy. Mm. To actually be in somebody's hood that you told on somebody over there, mm. and it's a politic going on. And it's twenty on, thirty y'all all out here, and nothing happens. It's either to me. that or niggas. It's either it's that or niggas weak, right? Or they don't that like or the niggas nigga, weak, or they man. don't like the nigga that's in jail. I'm that's what I, I'm. But they just, claim that's they 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 love him. You know that ain't true. I know they don't. I know they. I know they. You know love this would have been dealt with. We talking about K Swiss, right? That's what I'm like that's they the main nigga K Swiss. This would have been dealt with 14 years ago. Come on, bro. That's niggas they, don't even play like that, bro. Dude. It's just the fact that I'm a rapper. I'm shining. Niggas see money coming in. You know what I'm saying? I'm gonna talk about a lot of this on my new album too. 
March, my new album coming oh, out yeah, March yeah. 3rd. What's up with that? What's up they with, side, what my side, and the truth. Oh, yeah, so so you I'm are, coming crazy. you're like more motivated by this because I feel like yeah. that's part of it is like they kind of want to see whether you're going to turn up or whether you're going to tuck your tail. Like your reaction to this is going to be a big part of like how people end up perceiving it. In the well, I just made the best. Niggas get shut down. Niggas closing. Mm-hmm. Niggas I just made the best song of my life the other day. Mm-hmm. I posted that's it. Why you posted it. What? Yeah. Coming crazy right now. I'm dropping ten tapes this year. They just woke up a giant. They got me popping. I'm doing more views than ever. Mm. You feel me? Because people could dissect it themselves. They, you can see the comments. Only people who dissing me is the ops. You feel me? Like they post, they post it for like that. Like you know, it ain't nothing. I ain't tripping. You feel me? That circles on fig is uh that's, that's a favorite of mine. Circles on fig. You fuck with that? Stupid. Man, I'm still outside. I was outside right there where I shot the video at the other day. I took a picture with the fan uh-huh. and posted it right there. I, I don't know. I'm just like, man, I know the lies sound better. Like, the lie is more entertaining than the truth because mm-hmm. I'm big side. You feel me? It and is what it is, and I, I know what I signed up for. This area that's uh, accusing you of being a rat, this area is known for having money and artists. Uh the dude that deals with the music calls me man. Oh, I forgot to I talk about all that. Thank so you. So he's responsible he for the game. He feels some type of way, man. He's responsible for the game. They're responsible for dollar. They had a lot of business Everybody from my Akon. city come they, through that nigga. A lot of uh, play. So a lot of people from Mansfield are connected to and they go through that directly. Nigga. I don't go through that nigga. I did this shit my own way. And that's kind of like an uncle I'm figure I'm happy you to brought me. that that's up. That's what I'm about to say. Go ahead. Yeah, I've been knowing the nigga, too. I've been yeah. seeing him every day. Yeah. You feel me? I'm like, that's why I'm just like, damn, nigga, you just tried to sign me. I'm like, all right. Well, I can see. It don't surprise me. Like, I never heard that I was a snitch. Nobody never brought this to me. But do it surprise me, the people who saying it? Like, when I seen who was involved, I'm like, damn, these niggas all just at. He just asked me for a song and told me to pull up to the studio. You just tried to sign me. You the reason why I was putting up posters, nigga, all around for my Roxy show. You the one who told me to do that. Like, damn, okay. So I just had to see the play. Is Wax still friends with Suge Knight or are they beef? I don't know. Wax crazy. I think they beef. Uh, oh yeah, then look, ten ninety J he tried to send he been sending that's what he been sending it to ten ninety J. Well check your DM. Check your DM, ten ninety J. Check your DM. And then all of a sudden he get mad at 1090J because he don't want to review it. Look over, he like some bullshit. And he and then 1090 he wake up and tag 1090J like, oh, you're being paid. I know for sure you're being paid. Who is 1090J? We have, we have never had a conversation. From? Me and 1090J. You know 1090J? I know who. Yeah, I'm saying like, but who is he though? Like uh, where he came from? He basically re, he be going over paperwork and uh, calling out a lot he of the rappers good at that snitch. A white oh, that's yeah. what he do. He basically that's what he do. Scams. He scams. He he no matter no matter what y'all say about him, but he's a coach. Vulture and he only do it to blacks. However they say it, mm. whatever they just putting the truth out there. Though. He's, he comes with facts and hey, you the, see how shit you backfired on whack. I yeah, put that in my song and everything. You can't post the video with the credibility you have for 1090 Jake and then turn around and it become bullshit. He called 1090 Jake a rap because 1090 Jake like bro, but this is the same nigga you've been tagging all week, and then you posting Takashi on your page. They never got fully like, like make it cool. make sense, bro. You the same nigga who. Interview Takashi, bro. Like, bro, yo, you're no, like, yo, I your credibility Jake, is. I, I asked Tenai, I said, what's your perspective on the big sad shit? He said, I really ain't even look into it. I don't care about LA shit like that. LOL. Greedo got a pass. Sad gonna get one too. And wax sued world star. <laughs> Shrug emoji. Because it's bullshit. That yeah. shit, it's nothing to. Y'all can look over it yourself, gang. Like, now, telling is like, oh, that Wooty Woop shot on me, shot me. Wooty Woop, it was Wooty. <laughs> Like actually giving up information. Mm. Nothing I said got them boys convicted. I could do the the Costco sample cup of this. Yeah, do your thing. Yeah, what? I, I, I gotta see what y'all are talking <laughs> about. Juice sippers. Yeah, do your thing. I just wanna check, yeah. sample it. Nah, I'm not gonna get faded or nothing. I'm, I'm, I'm a dad, high, man. Yeah. I brought weed. I'm a up. dad. Oh, Cali plug. I got some Cali plug. Shout I got some Cali leaks plug. right here. Shout out to or not. Feel yeah, comfortable, bro. Do y'all thing, bro. You feel me? I'm a real nigga, gang. Or not. You know what I mean? Well, you Cali plug? Man, Cali Plug need to be on this motherfucker right now. He Why? Needs to come He's bring where Cali paper. at? You gotta Cal. bring him to court. Yeah, he gotta yeah, bring he that gotta paperwork. Court. Uh, yeah, Why? He what he do? He that nah, some... Shout out Cali go. Plug. He been fucking with the Shout streets, man. You know what I'm saying? Fuck it. Yeah, but not enough for Brick Baby. No, 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 no. Oh, baby, Brick Baby probably would never be fucking with Cali Plug. That's like Adam when you signed up to do this podcast and shit. You knew he you was going to have haters. Oh yeah. Right? It got a lot worse than I thought it would, but yeah, it that's, is that's, right the, now, that's you know? the higher you climb. People nah. come up to me in person all the time, like, "Hey, man, I, I love the way you just you just don't give a fuck," and people try to drag you down, and you don't give a shit. And I'll be looking at them like, "Thank you," but also, 
I don't need you acting like I need a pep talk. Right. <laughs> I'm chilling. <laughs> I don't even give a fuck about talking I'm unbothered. to anybody. Yeah. I'm unbothered. I don't get embarrassed. <laughs> yeah. I don't get bothered. I'm not. I, I eliminated those emotions from my fucking Rolodex. I'm not Man. trying to fucking have anybody feeling bad for me. I'm chilling. Right. I feel bad for you. Like I ain't right. trying to beat the internet. Like whoever. You know. I ain't even trying to beat the internet, gang. Like I like I like gangster shit. I want a nigga to run up on me and call me a snitch. I ain't I ain't whoop the nigga ass in a minute. Like you feel me? Mm, but I'm a gangster. You, I can get I get. you can get absorbed in the in the internet shit too. When you keep going down niggas oh, yeah, for a minute, I got absorbed. Cause yeah. <laughs> you probably yeah, if you I got videos where I'm on a on a rant, nigga. Like. You know, yeah. but niggas ain't even nobody. I know myself, bro. I'm, I'm, I'm not. Look, <laughs> one thing about me, don't even be nobody. I'm be honest with y'all, bro. One thing about me, bro. I know myself, bro. Like you know what I'm saying. I'm really for the culture. I'm for the people. I'm a people person. I got Mexican homies, white homies, black homies. Like I ain't like yeah. I, I grew up gang banging, bro. But I'm so part. I'm so far past that. You feel me? I'm gonna yeah. keep it real. A lot it's of supposed this shit, to be small too. A lot of this shit, bro. Like, man, I, I'm I'm past that shit. So it's like the people that is acting like they mad at me is people that I, I'm not even entertained. I'm trying to go kick it with billionaires and people that's actually doing something for themselves anyway. Yeah. Like, I'm not tripping off niggas trying to like. You give me. I'm I'm real sure of myself, and I know I know the truth. So, but I ain't tripping. Man, you feel me? big sad when I when I look at the L.A. conversation that we've been having recently that everybody seems to want to have about how hot L.A. is or whatever. I mean, there's not a lot of artists that we could put in the bucket of can just drop a random fucking music video that clearly was like shot and edited in a day and get a million views. And I feel like yeah. when I look at your shit, I feel like your shit has a better chance of being able to cross over and have a motherfucker in New York or Atlanta or whatever be yeah. be fucking with it because it's just so gangster and so raw and so like I, I don't know like I'm I'm glad that this conversation seems like we mostly came what, to the same conclusion because that's, that's real I don't yeah. get involved that's why I never get involved when they be talking about LA music is dead. I'm, I don't know shit. My shit. I'm looking at my streams on Spotify, Apple Music. Right. I'm looking. I'm doing pretty good. Like, mm -hmm. I don't know. Like shit. So I don't know. Right. I, that's why I don't get. You never see me get involved. I have to be laughing at that shot. If really that ain't your problem, if the shoe don't fit. And Dejan actually yeah. helped me. See, these niggas this don't like people on. critiquing them. It's like I, I'm a man. Like I'm you tell you, you that. Hey, Dejan really got enemies out here. Yeah, yeah. Shut up, really? Shout out like, to Dejan. Nah, niggas like because he helped me a lot. Dejan, <laughs> Dejan no, really helped me. No, you don't even game. know. Because yeah. I'm the type of nigga, bro. Look, one type of me, me, I'm not gonna argue with a nigga. I'm gonna sit back and say everything. See, uh, he feel like, I, and I'm gonna improve in everything he felt I did wrong. Yeah. And me and him been cool ever since. I step yeah. it up. Yeah. I feel like I can always be better at something. I'm yeah. not the type of nigga to feel like I'm perfect exactly. or, or like I can't do no wrong. But or, I want to say something real quick because. This is going to bring everything in the full circle. And why I don't like being and knowing the stuff that I know and even saying stuff about paperwork, we lost the face of this L.A. rap shit over playing about paperwork. Yeah. Whether it existed or not. It's like bro. these niggas it's don't like, like a nigga shining, what, bro. This is what right. we still It's hard to make after, it in L.A. Nigga. After we know this whole Nipsey case was just Man. about somebody saying something about paperwork and it going the wrong way and this is what we still doing amongst the culture but everybody's saying that we supposed to bring the west back i don't like the paperwork shit. i feel like paperwork is to be dealt with inside of people's hood i don't know how it made it to the internet you get what i'm saying right, right. that's Whoever a nigga, that's for in their life and it's about music around, it had to make it to the internet if, you if know the it's about music around them are dealing with them and they got paperwork that's on them people that surround that make their hood look soft gang keep keep it real you like, i know y'all probably wanna man y'all know y'all in the streets because you know if i said nigga if in the I streets that shit fuck. make their hood look no, no, soft no, no, man no, no, no. Nigga ain't let no nigga walk around 14 I'm a, years nigga. I, i'm a rob a nigga dude, get up on a nigga i'm gonna get on a nigga like i already said i'm gonna keep it yeah i know you probably don't want to say it like that like i said though i said that's why i asked his cut hood as they mad, you know. Hell nah. If if his hood was mad right now, I would be questioning that. Like, uh, what what made y'all want to trip now? You know what I'm saying? If niggas been know that, cause we, I'm gonna tell you this. It been shit in my hood that we didn't let, uh, uh, as a whole collective, before then let some bullshit that we kind of know slide, and then it's been homies that we smashed quickly just because who they is. 
too. Yo, you feel that. what I'm saying? Yo, These niggas no picking choosing. Yeah, yeah. So, <laughs> yeah, yeah. so that's picking and choosing because of maybe his family really them over here too. Yeah. You know, them my niggas, them my them my hitters for real. We do this, we do yeah. that. So nigga letting cub breathe as long as cub out the way. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Uh, but uh. so <clears throat> it this should be it, it, this shit confusing. But like I'm glad this shit's small to me too now. Yeah. Because I done did so much of everything. This shit is <laughs> It's getting smaller. You see what yeah. I'm saying? Because I'm getting bigger. Big show tag. So then he, you start to realize yeah, how Yeah, he much still got the tag on it. You didn't take the tag off. Everything <laughs> in my closet got tagged on it. You start to realize how everything much this shit is like day. bullshit. <laughs> <laughs> like niggas saying snitching, Besides, bro. This, this, this one of my favorite is. one. So, okay. We all know what a snitch is. You feel me? A snitch a motherfucker. Snitch. I didn't see a nigga tail on a nigga, man. Mm. Straight up. So, tail. okay. If, if Dejan was grading you more harshly, do you think you would still feel cool about the rap report card concept? And and do you think that like what he's bringing to the table? Do we need more of this? Like more rappers like, getting a kick in the ass from the media? Hell yeah, we this? need more of that for mm. sure. I feel like me personally, we need that. That pump, I, it, these niggas, man. I ain't gonna lie. That I get pumped up off of shit. Like off this, me too. off of all this shit that's going on right now. It's pumping me up. I'm mm. going to the studio every day. My Deshaun homie. Paul, like anything, he I, I, I pay attention and I keep going. Like I, you feel me? I'm cool. I'm not a hard guy. It take a lot for me to get mad. Mm. And my I'm not only, even mad my at this shit. Issue about it is the only thing that I came to in in, in it was. Anybody can grade us then. Like, mm-hmm. you know what I'm saying? Because the genre, like, nigga, I just woke up one day and I just graded, dog. Right. So, a nigga don't got to have a musical background. No. A, a nigga ain't got to, like, I would understand. Just like looking at it as a fan. Yeah, yeah, looking at it as a fan yeah, or somebody. Everybody got opinion. He basically, like, this is the music I listen to. This is what I think. He say he don't come together with nobody or nothing. This but, is just him waking yeah, up. Yeah, they act like that shit going to stop l- their l- shows. L- let me something. put something out there as an example. I remember, you remember, like, Say Cheese used to always do the lists and shit to be, like, the top 20 hottest rappers in Florida. Yeah. And everybody be arguing or top 20 in Detroit or Texas or whatever. And it's yeah. like, it's, it's, a smart. Smart, it's a smart idea if you're an Instagram smart. account because you're going to get 20,000 fucking comments on there of people going back and forth crazy about it and i remember one time ad said (laughs) we should do that and i was like i don't think you're really ready to like be putting your fucking name on that and he's like what are you talking about and i'm like all right let's say we're doing the list and we got to pick and this is before draco passed and everything i'm like what if we got the top four and then we we, we're talking about the top five spot and you got to decide whether you're gonna put draco or yg Mm. he like yeah you're right (laughs) <laughs> He's like, yeah, he's I don't, I don't really want to like be getting into the 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 game of having to take people that have been good to me, that fuck with me, that have supported me, etc., and pick one or the other. A lot of people wouldn't want to do that. I wouldn't even really want to do that in L.A. because I know I'm gonna have to show love to people that don't fuck with me and shit on people that do fuck with me. Like that's not like the most attractive thing in the world. Dejan exists in kind of like a, a different dimension because he ain't a fucking gangbanger, but he songs. knows a shitload yeah, about everything in LA, you know? Right, right, right. How many songs does AD have with YG? Just the one that we on? I don't know, at least one or two. Yeah. Hey, what's up, what's up? Have y'all talked yet since that shit? Oh, man, man, YG? Yeah. Man, YG straight. Niggas just staying in each other's lane, man. You know what I'm saying? Staying right. out there. Staying in your lane. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Type shit. They were sticking to that. Right. Mm. Yeah, you know. I want to see everybody I that, win, I bro. I know that wasn't about me. Whether you podcasting, like, bro. We supposed to be winning. Yeah, whether you rapping, <laughs> podcasting, bro. LA, you from we, L.A. We down I'm team, I'm team L.A., gang. You feel me? I put, man, what? I put this shit on my back, man. I'm, I'm rooting for everybody. I don't care what you're doing, podcasting, rapping. Selling pussy. Ooh. Whatever. I want to see everybody win. I, I ain't never been a hater, bro. I don't know. I just, I never mm-hmm. had a hater bone in my body. So it's like, Dejan you, you is, only see me go at people who come at me. He's turning me into a little bit more of like a L.A. nationalist type where it's like, all right, we got to actually like really root for the city. Like we got to yeah. actually identify anyone who seems like they have talent. Because, you know, I'm not from here. So for me, it's kind of like, if I'm driving around listening to New York drill or New York music or whatever, it's like, I don't really give a fuck. I fuck with yeah. the vibe in a lot of different cities and shit. Yeah. But at the end of the day, if LA is winning, it's all good for, for the city, for, for No Jumper, for everybody involved. So, I mean, definitely anybody that got some potential, we got to like really like rush to get behind them and, and try to help yeah. them out along the way. I right? got ASM Bobster coming in. I want Dejan to be on that interview. Mm-hmm. That's smart, Dejan, because he be on music. He keep it on music a lot. I feel like he good for no jumper. Dejan, you it's, know what I'm saying? It's a good thing. platform. I said that it way. do give niggas something to reach for. Like little do little do niggas know he's giving he's giving people something up. to reach for too. 
Okay, how'd you feel seeing? Uh, you gotta have your Flacco. Did you see the clip of Greedo basically telling Flacco that he would beat the shit out of him? And <laughs> I ain't even see that. I ain't even. Yeah, see yeah, that. yeah, niggas it's ain't amazing. I, I, I just talked to some. I was at Empire last night. Niggas ain't fucking with Flacco. Uh. Niggas, <laughs> niggas ain't fucking with the John. Niggas won't take his hands. I feel like everything niggas is not a fucking game, with man, the you know? Niggas not fucking with niggas. You out here playing with niggas. Niggas is, niggas, is, niggas is like, niggas. Let me tell you, they don't respect him. Mm. Just period. They just like who. It's okay to be judged. They just like, who the fuck is cuz? And they like, what is your musical background? But that's the problem is that somebody with a real musical background in L.A. is going to have all kinds of relationships and shit that they want to protect too much, you know? So it's like he's good because he really does not care that much about being liked. And he's branded himself as this person from day one. And you really you can't get on somebody too hard about just having an opinion. Now, if it feels like he's really bullying somebody or picking on somebody or whatever, that's when I can understand getting mad. But he's not talking about who's got most street cred. Mm. He's not talking about who's the hardest, who's the realest. He like he's come just, harder too. He's talking about shit that you can actually have an objective opinion about, like how much you release or like well, how you step it up. That's to me. You know what that is to me? He, he acknowledges you stepping it up. Mm. Mm. For sure. Like, he, he's not I, against I used you to be a little it kid it and see the big homies pulling up in Bentleys and Rolls Royces. Mm. I was broke as fuck. I didn't have a dime in my pocket, but it inspired me. It let me know that like I can like when I see, I get motivated. Mm. I've never been like it's nothing a nigga could say to me. Like, I'll take all that in and use it as gas. You know what I'm saying? I'll just get motivated. To type. I feel like it all depends on, look at all the personalities in rap. Mm. Everybody got different personalities. Some niggas waking up mad at life. They not getting no money. So a nigga make a comment about anything, they flashing out. You know what I'm saying? But you're, yeah. you're kind of like an exception to the rule, right? Because, like, would you say that you ain't really had anybody, like, help your career or support your career? Because normally in, in L.A., there's an OG at some point that kind of puts a dude on or helps get him into the game. Yeah. You've kind of been like a renegade the whole time, right? Yeah. That's why they mad. That's unique. <laughs> I don't you have know? a manager. I don't got nothing. Like, I got relationships. Mm. Shout out Picasso, TK. Shout out to them too, yeah. yeah. I got relationships, but I've never, like, and I got distribution with Empire. Mm. For the most part, I put up my money. Now Empire be putting up money with me, which is good. I'm a part with my partnership with them. But yeah, for the most part, I ain't, I didn't want no big dog. T Money was trying to be my big dog, and I ain't let him. You feel me? What? I was just like, man. I don't, you I, just I, didn't want to have somebody in like a management type role in general, or did you have you? you my didn't favorite trust rapper him, Nip, or? and Nip always rapped about deals. I knew he had to do with cinematic back in the day, and, and things didn't work out. You know, so I was always my favorite rapper is Nip. So I was always wanted to wait and take my time. Mm. You feel me? I just been waiting, taking my time, seeing who. The right should have come along, no yeah, matter what. I, I was never in a rush to sign. I, I came in the game with money. Uh, I, I be showing pictures on Instagram. I got, I, I had Rolexes and shit before I was a rapper. Drove Porsches, been where, to, where been was to the money Hawaii. From? <laughs> uh, I was, Different shit. I mean, you can answer. People you like want. me. People. I'm gonna just say people like me. Oh, the letter. Yeah, uh, yeah like, people just like me. So you know, me being, I, I was always a fly guy. I dress pretty good. You know, this <laughs> nigga. So, so shit, I made yeah. millions before rap. I was able to put up two hundred fifty thousand into my rap career. I feel like without me having no money, it would have been hard. Like, say if I was a nigga that worked at McDonald's, man, this shit would have been so hard for me. Mm. Shooting videos, my my cameraman charged fifteen hundred. Mm. I'm taking fifteen hundred out my pocket. I shot fifty videos. You know what I'm saying? Mm. You got to mix and master these songs. That shit costs two three hundred. Mm. I got seventeen albums. I didn't put up. I didn't put up like 200. <laughs> uh, that's no dub in the building. What up? How you living, my guy? Uh, <laughs> that's no dub. Uh, what's up? I'm, I'm coming over there to come. I, I didn't come over there last week. Everybody got the first uh, suit yeah, yeah. man. What's up, girl? You, I'm coming over there after this. That's cool. Hell yeah. Desto in the motherfucking building, cuz. Desto, I've been seeing you make it. He's been doing a lot hey, of big shit This nigga shit inspired out. me. I see Real this nigga quick. in the Rolls Royce. Real quick. Yeah, I get inspired by that type shit, bro. That's I watch your come up, bro, from real like listening to something. Mm-hmm. Real quick. Yeah. And, and, and I know it wasn't even like real bro. quick. Man. No, that's, a, that's the best shit about it, bro. Low key, like. Like when I see shit, it's either you see it or you hate, or you see it just like, bro, I can do that shit too, cause I know this nigga. Like he grew up damn near up the street around exactly. the corner. That's damn near ninety percent of the reason why it's getting done. Yeah. I was just watching the video from when we did the memorial for X, and like me and you are posted in the back, fucking with Lena and stuff, while there's basically like a riot ensuing outside. That's that screenshot I that sent you. That was a party. That's what, crazy. What, uh, when what, X died uh, and we had the memorial, see he was locked uh, up, right? Uh, it was straight. Oh uh, yeah, the party turned out good. Yeah. Hey, what? How you? 
how you get to pushing it like that, like from the internet to really getting your business really going, cause like the the motion and your store like not even that big, yeah, bro. It's about but to double though. Everybody wants to come in that motherfucker. I'm saying it's like more of a plus. It's motherfuckers yeah, yeah, who's yeah. spending money on big shit, not even having traffic. Yeah. Nigga got traffic in here, like <laughs> I always say. So you getting a bigger spot is just understandable. See, this the thing. Honestly, the one of the biggest things too is like you got to think. I've been here for so long. Mm. So like, besides me pushing and going, every time some shit crack off, like you know, I'll be a part of a crew. Some shit crack off. Mm. You know, I'm damn near like the historian of this shit. Like wow. I've been here. I'm still here. Mm -hmm. Even after shit go, you know, some niggas leave, come back. I've been here so long. That like you know this as a monumental spot now. Right. You feel me? Every year I'm getting more and more and more and more people. Motherfuckers like, from out of town. I'm like, like seeing them in the match. I'm like, this nigga, I see this nigga got three staircases all the way up to the top. Yeah. I'm like, oh, this that... nigga getting real money out here, boy. <laughs> yeah. oh, man, I'm I out of town. I'm on yeah. niggas on tour. I'm seeing motherfuckers way out of everywhere yeah. else. I'm running into I and they talking everywhere. about your shit. First time I seen the 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 blunts. With your face on it. I was in Minnesota. Where I was at Min yeah. Minneapolis. That shit going crazy, huh? Nigga, I was like, what? Uh, How much you make off a pack, of, a pack of loose leaves? 30%. 30%, <laughs> for real? How it. much is that shit, 10 bucks? He said Jay-Z. Whatever it is. 30% of whatever it is, 74. <laughs> hey, I, hate, though, to, I hate to backtrack, right? But did we go into when, after the fight in the victim of the gunshot, the BB, he went there and he told them, what did he say when he was he was in the bed? What did the BB say or who? Yeah. What did the BB say? Yeah. Uh, he he they, they trying to say in the paperwork basically that uh, he told the police that the Playboy gangster shot him. So did he mention the bed rocks and all that too? Nah, just Playboy gangsters. Uh, so that was the shit that they posted. So they got a police report <laughs> also about you then. But he said he insinuated that that's where everything came from before that. He insinuated what? It came that from where? The Playboy Gangsters. In it. So that was that in his trial too? That was, that's Yeah, that's in the paperwork right there. Uh, <laughs> that's right there. Uh, that's, probably, that's on the second paragraph as soon as you flip the second page in trial evidence. Uh, yeah, yeah. Nah, I just wanted to go over that too because that's what they were saying that since he told on y'all, <laughs> you told on him. Type nah. shit. Like, uh, you know I didn't mean? even know that till I read the paperwork. Like, look, none of this, <laughs> bro, none of this. I'm telling you, gang, look, I never read this shit, nigga, till they said I was a snitch. I never heard I was a snitch. So when they said I was a snitch, nigga, I got to looking up the paperwork and found it. And this is what it is right here. I looked it up because I'm like, nigga, saying I'm telling. Yeah. I never knew about none of this. Yeah. You feel me? So yeah. what do you, what do you know about uh, Blueface getting into it with somebody wearing a Playboy shirt in Vegas? <laughs> I don't know nothing. <laughs> that don't that know. seemed really weird to me. Yeah, like, I, that was funny. I don't know nothing. If you had a hundred people wearing a Playboy bunny shirt in Las Vegas, probably like a hundred of them are just rocking it because they like the Playboy bunny, right? Mm -hmm. Seems like kind of unlikely that they would be a representative of. You'd be amazed though who we run into. Yeah, yeah, I run into niggas from the uh, other side or any anywhere oh, sometimes. I'm happy you brought up Blueface because I like I like that the fact he young he get money because people always got they uh, internet YouTube got they always they how they look at something and feel about something. At the end of the day, I man, I root for everybody in LA get money. Well, shout out my nigga Blueface. You know what I'm saying? I root for everybody get money, bro. I don't, it's, it take a lot to get me mad. I've been through too much. Like niggas don't nigga can't nothing really. I don't know. I'm a cool nigga, gang. I just go at niggas who go at me. I guess yeah, that, that's part of why your your come up has been impressive too, because you didn't base it around a bunch of beefing and shit. Yeah, like, nah. yeah I gotta get back to work, but I just want to say, all y'all young man looking real sharp out here, <laughs> man. I came in, <laughs> I'm like looking around, niggas pieced up, uh, niggas uh, cuts, man, niggas looking real Jane, clean man. in this motherfucker, man. I love y'all. I'm about to get back to work, pull up right. on. Hey, appreciate you, yeah. right, And man. the reason why he's wet is because it's raining outside. Yo, and uh, now the, look, at, look at this yeah, shit wet as fuck crazy. now, too. <laughs> that's crazy. The paperwork, cuz. All the paperwork's all wet Stop now. Stop playing. It's on Google, too. It's public <laughs> information, man. Yeah, we'll link this to it. We'll wrong. link to it, because probably a lot of people would want to, like, read yeah, through it. Yeah, I feel like, I'm, I'm like, man, I really don't got nothing to explain. But I was like, at the end of the day, I do all this to my fans and people who do fuck oh, with what? my music to want to know the ins and outs of this shit and the truth. They think I got somebody convicted. 
and got somebody in jail. Cause nah, saying he ain't got nobody. I ain't convicted. get nobody convicted. If I did, would have been in there. I'm not John Gotti. I'm nobody special. They not hiding our shit. They not hiding nothing from nothing. It's all there. You feel me? We really out here getting loaded on a Sunday afternoon. Okay. A yeah. rainy Sunday afternoon. <laughs> okay. Yeah. I took it slow today too, cause I'm on the wine today. I'm chilling. Grown men. Yeah. Thirties. Yeah. <laughs> Grown. Yeah, come with the tequila. Today, Grown. Man. Yeah. You gonna go do the tequila after that? No, I said he didn't come oh. with the tequila. Nah, nah yeah, he got chilling. a bottle of some random shit he found over there. Yeah, that shit been here too. That shit, <laughs> that, that shit age. That's age he looks wide. At it every that's week. what I was about to say. That's age wide. Uh, right DW just fantasize about it every week. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I'm chilling today. I Yo, think. you want to know what my kid told uh, told told Lena's uh, Lena's aunt? Lena's aunt goes, "What is, what does your daddy do for for work?" She goes. He sits and he talks with his boyfriends. No. Uh, this is the day after she saw me, you, and him just sitting there at the table fucking doing the, the podcast and shit. And no. So, but, but, you know, her family, Armenian, they, they don't fuck with no gay shit, so they yeah. immediately go into overdrive Shut trying to down. explain that those are not his boyfriends. Those are his friends, and yeah. they're boys, okay? Yeah. No, right. Don't say that again. That's, right. like, real yeah. serious. Yeah. I got to pee Jesus again. Jesus Christ. Again. You and your boyfriends, they man. They don't think I'm doing crap. Right. I got to pee again. Ah. Yeah. That's crazy. That's the Whoa. that's the escape route. That's, that's it. That's it. <laughs> you that after you? Yeah, no, nah, no, bro. I, I don't know. I still, like I said, this shit right here. I'm I'm gonna stand where I stand. Like, you know that's what I mean? a, at the at the end of the day, it do come to picking sides on shit. Like, um, <laughs> unfortunately, it does come to shit like that, picking sides or just not being a part of it. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, me personally, I'm really not even a part of it, champ. You know what I'm saying? But I do like to know who I'll be around. Nah, for sure. Or That's anybody. Be, you and then know these what niggas, I'm saying? Like, and then got niggas on the internet commenting and talking about saying, like, bro, I wouldn't even do a crime with you niggas. Man, I got crime I ain't never told on no, no nigga. None of my crime no nobody. But it's like, at the end of the day, like, like I said, this don't surprise me because, like, I, I'm, I'm popping. Mm. You feel me? Got this shit coming with haters. I knew what I signed up for it from day one, bro. You feel me? Right. Yeah. You know, it, it definitely do. If it was Bunk Skunk, I would have said it. I would have just been like, hey, look. You know what I mean? Like, I feel like it's fake Bunk. You my boy regardless. Yeah. Da, 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 like, you feel me? And the only thing, and like I said, because I didn't understand the part they had posted, they had posted some shit. And I send it to you just to refresh what you were saying, so you don't think I was just going yeah. off of. No, I want was, I want to talk it, about it, everything, it, it, but I don't want to leave nothing that out. Shit, you know what I mean? Because that's what they doing. Something about so how do we how do we so then, how do we do see, a judge? Like Swiss rented the SUV. How do we do a how do we do a judgment with the like say say with the West Coast music or whatever or whatever politics that's going on on the internet for people to say which side that the that the world leans on. Or that that niggas is like you know what like or this is the you truth. Should put, should, niggas should put the link to the paperwork. How you do that? Put pole. the link in the bio. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> put the link. I put it in my bio. But you should put it under the. Uh, let them read it. Add them when they uh, when they post this video to the internet. Let them let people dissect everything. Do you want ten ninety Jake to do his evaluation? He could. Yeah. Mm. Cause he yeah. gonna see that I didn't get nobody convicted. I never. Right. Yeah. You feel what I'm saying? Yeah. I know I, I don't I know I don't have nothing to hide. Yeah, like, I, and niggas, then, and then you niggas gotta, need to shut that case. You so you can go it. ahead and keep doing your music, champ. Yeah, yeah man, if you, you if you would have went in there with a pregnant dead lady, no matter if she had gang history or not, right, and told the police I don't got nothing to say, I feel like they would have booked you as a suspect at that point. And that being the wife, you took the conversation. The shit I see right there, if that was at the hospital or wherever it was, I don't know where y'all went, but My the only video regret. don't say nothing that that paper was. My only said. regret is trying to help niggas, bro. I'm going to keep it real. I don't regret nothing but trying to help everybody in the party as far as them and the homie Baby Skull, which is Kevin. I was just trying to help. You feel me? I knew everything, bro. I knew it. I could have walked in there, nigga, and said, nigga, wooty wooty woo, just shot the homie and shot I knew everybody, knew the car, knew everything. Yeah. I just caught myself trying to throw everything off and help, bro. Like, come on, you feel me? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just like nigga, when they, I went, I got locked up and they brought me to court. Like, nigga, them niggas is good niggas. How you think they got a mistrial? You feel me? Yeah. Like the nigga, I think they, your boy, what's in Cecil? They threw his shit out. 
Like, if anything I said would have got to court, it would have been in there and it would have said it got thrown out. Yeah. Just like the statements he made, the nigga who told on him, some of his statements got thrown out. Some of the shit he was saying. Yeah. They they crime partner. Yeah. So anything I said that made it to court, to I'm, I'm nobody special. Anything I said that got somebody convicted would be in that paperwork. You feel me? Yeah. And if niggas felt like that, bro, why y'all addressing me 14 years later? Y'all, y'all don't feel the niggas who are really gang banging over there don't feel like that. It's just yeah. this nigga trying to like it's about music, bro. He came up here with two of his artists trying to promote his artists while while talking about I'm a snitch. Yeah. It's about music. We know it ain't about no gangster shit. We all from the streets. We know what snitches. Nigga, nigga see a nigga every day. Man, nigga would have robbed me. I'm walking around with fifty thousand dollar watches on, thirty thousand dollar Cubans and shit. Like nigga robbed me. I be having shit. Walk around with a pound of weed. Nigga take shit. Nigga ain't never robbed me. Took nothing from me. Like you telling me a nigga I'm a snitch, but nobody never touched me, or pressed me. It's about music though. Like you feel me? That's why it don't surprise me. Yeah. I just had to look at look at who it was coming from. You feel me? There you have it. <laughs> there okay, you have there you it. Had, uh, you you had a homie come through, explain his side of the story. You know what I'm saying? It's up to everybody. This shit, it's up to you to how you handle your situation. It's up to everybody else, however the fuck they want to view it. No, yeah. it's concrete evidence with what he's saying. That and the car he was in was silver, he was describing the car. That and, makes more and sense. And it's public. Than but at the end of the day, if anybody got some concrete evidence saying that this man Bruce, did that, that's the only you. way that you're going to be able to get me to, you get what I'm yeah, saying, to decide with, that, like, like, I'm not, yeah. like I said, I don't got a dog in a fight. I stand where I stand. You know, I've been knowing y'all since I feel like people kids. use that word too loosely name. on the internet, man. Like, yeah. they just call anybody a snitch. Like, yeah. Like, snitch, yeah, snitch, 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 snitch. Like, man, this shit is getting old. Yeah. Like, you feel me? It's like, like this shit getting watered down and old. Like, I just feel like that's supposed to be handled in the neighborhoods that that's involved with the snitching. That's what I'm saying. Like, like the, the look, and you know we not both the place for that. We like, both gangsta crip, wanna, right? Yeah. So this could have been a phone call. We could have pulled up. Niggas could have popped me. Whatever they wanted to do to me, it could have been I'm done. I'm talking about John. But the not fact even that five minutes away we're not from even five minutes other. away from each other. But this is brought <laughs> to the internet because this is only about trying to like sabotage my character and who I am. Uh, That's what this about. This is strictly about the internet. This uh, ain't about no gangster shit. I be on Pico every day. Just shot a video with y'all niggas. You feel me? Uh, if I would have been like a dick sucker, like, oh yeah, I'm gonna sign with you. I sign. I do a song with you. man. The fuck, like, nah, nigga. I'm a boss. You feel me? Niggas just don't like it. Come with being the boss though. At the end of the day, like me personally, bro, I don't got nothing to hide. You feel me? Yeah. And what I was saying about Shug Knight and, and Wack when you were saying that. Mm. Because he bought the man that was apprehended allegedly for shooting Shook Knight. Did mm. y'all go over that in the interview? Nah. Mm-mm. Wait, did he did what? Yeah, what? <laughs> <laughs> Take that out. <laughs> I'm, what? Take that out. <laughs> Wait, uh, do, uh, uh, all right, we're about to finish saying it, but if they didn't go over it, then let's not talk about it. But, oh, okay. but now I you keep an ace it. up your sleeve? I don't know. Yeah, yeah. No, what I'm saying is... Wax an angel. I don't know what you're talking about. What I'm telling you is T-Money mm. allegedly was apprehended. I think Suge Knight told on T-Money. Oh, right. I shooting feel like we court. talked about that right. in the interview, but I can't girl. remember yeah. how it went down. I don't know. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? That's yeah. all like a thing go. That's what bro. I'm saying. Like, Here we go. Take it out the motherfucker. <laughs> Here we go. No, he ain't yeah, saying. Yeah, yeah. He not saying that. Cause he was my boy. Yeah, yeah, I know to what you're talking about. I know what you're talking about. Yeah, so if it didn't. If they didn't go over it, I, I don't know shook. if he did or didn't, but okay. I heard that he went to jail for that shit. Put some I, shit like that. I heard that too. Yeah. Oh. I don't know. <laughs> How you guys enjoying Grammy weekend? Anybody doing anything Grammy related? I just went to the Empire. See, I was complaining on the podcast because somebody told me they were going, and I was like, damn, how come I ain't get invited? Laura hits me up right after. She's like, I got you with a plus three to the Empire party. But then my fucking kid was sick as fuck Friday night. Yeah. My girl's been sick, like, all week. I was fucking couldn't bring myself to leave. It was pretty cool, though. Yeah, you everybody was there. Yeah, everybody. Huh? You had a good time? Yeah, I had I a seen good you time. brought your own photographer. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Mr. Mr. Content Guy. We was chilling. Incredible. It was out there. I was out there with my incredible family, you know, mm-hmm. uh, nonstop. 
cameraman was shooting the cameraman. That's my nigga on and off. <laughs> you know you got to make him turn the camera. I, yeah. You want tall on Instagram, not yeah. not long. Yeah, I can make carpet, it my red shit. Carpet in, <laughs> you see my but pictures? I, uh, Where'd you go? You go anywhere? I had, you hear that? I had to do the party yesterday. I bailed on Kazumi's sex party last night too. And I had to do my no, I had to do my daughter's party. Oh yeah, mm. what was that like? Oh, yes, you yeah, go, cheese? Uh, uh, we was at no, I rented <laughs> out like a warehouse and had a gang of stuff. Going uh, no, I heard your so. girl try to invite me and you were, you just fucking no 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 yeah right he white uh, uh, two days ago no, Chuck E. Cheese no. It no. wasn't that. No. <laughs> I know we sent it. She sent the the flyer. To now me. I know how Crip Mac feels. No, she <laughs> that's <sent> crazy. Because <laughs> Crip Mac didn't get to go to my party. No, I, I didn't get invited. Definitely to your party. give you an invite. <laughs> you didn't keep it fifty fifty. <laughs> yeah, you didn't keep it sixty. <laughs> that's what he's gonna use. But then <laughs> it would have been Parker was sick. It, it <laughs> all that. Ah, free, uh, free no, my nigga Crip Mac, man. Yeah. 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 I got a song. I got a song with Crip Mac. Feel the love. Did you really? Yep, yeah, me, Crip Mac, uh, Pac Man, Boozy. Was Boozy artist Spiffy Lucci? I know who else. Shout out my niggas. Who else on there? It's like six of us on that bitch. We going in. <laughs> Bro, hey, I think it's Crip Mac hardest verse ever. For real? I ain't gonna lie. Man, to I'm you. gonna tell you, like, yeah, Crip Mac kind of always. I got a song with Crip Mac. It, it might be the best song I've I feel like Crip Mac needed, like, a writer. Yeah. Can we agree on that? Because, like, every time I ever heard him spit a verse, it was just the craziest shit. He won't let you. For real? Yeah, I told him, let me write this I shit. feel like if you had put him with a great writer, it could have just gone to the moon, bro. I think yeah. he exactly who he's supposed to be, Chip. Exactly. No, did you hear, did you hear his country song, though? Nah. It's pretty dope. <laughs> For real? Yeah, it's pretty. It's pretty. My favorite song of his is a song that I absolutely can't sing because it is a very, very anti-gang anthem. <laughs> but, uh, yo, for the for the... The, the, the King. No, nah, there's another one that's uh, just, it's like crazy as this song. Oh, wow. It's very catchy. Though. Adam loves all the drill shit. That's some. And any, it doesn't matter that's what. We ain't got no LA drill, drill, right? What I was saying. Nah, we don't do that shit. Like, if you find the right guy, though, here. you find the right LA drill artist, that shit could be viral as fuck. Bro, hell no. Nah. The LA, keep slowing down, LA right? drill, they I do it just from New time York to time, but right it now. ain't, it ain't never be no LA drill. Mm -hmm. Like, because it's too serious. And once the older homie see a nigga keep doing that shit and be like, bro, what is you doing? You getting the hood shot up and all that? Like, you tripping. We like mm -hmm. turned up shit and vibes yeah. out here. Like, a nigga might got a line a in there where a nigga here. dissing nigga, but smoking on a nigga dead homies and mentioning all they dead homies in the yeah. song. I be trying to keep that out of my music. I, ain't gonna, I almost caught myself the other day. I almost did a crazy song. But it ended, ended, up, ended up coming yeah, out to be. Yeah, random name. I scratched, I scratched the verse and redid a whole nother verse though. Just yeah. gonna me personally, I don't be one to disrespect nobody. Just niggas stay coming at me, so I be I'm the type of nigga I don't hold my tongue. Like it be so when you know a nigga soft, and like nigga you don't like you don't even be like that in person. And nigga it be like nigga they gonna but how I'ma let some suckers bully me? Like well yeah. I do the bullying. Nigga ain't nigga gonna bully me, nigga. I really uh, don't. I really don't like niggas who be like. Well I really don't be doing the. This and the dead homies thing. Mm. I used to do that when I was coming up. Mm. Because it'd be niggas dissing niggas they ain't even knew. But that's you just from somewhere dissing somebody dead homie just because your homies dissing. Don't mm. even don't even know him neither. Yeah. I ain't kill him or don't nothing. Don't know the nigga who killed him or nothing. <laughs> but you would the reason why yeah. I be dissing the one the niggas I be dissing that died, they might have died and they might have we are we might have been into it. Like a nigga might have told me he was gonna kill me. Or we was already trolling. beefing, trolling mm. me and shit. Yeah. You know, so when he right. die, I ain't gonna lie. I'm gonna get my little kick out of it, mm. whether I killed the nigga or not. <laughs> mm. hey, he died as goofy ass. Just told me two days ago I, I, he was gonna kill me. Mm. Like, that's what I be that's on. What, like, nigga, you man, on some? That's what you get. Type shit. Yeah, that's what, yeah. Like damn, you know, we like niggas that never said nothing to me, bro. It's, I got a thousand ops. But I ain't just jumping in niggas DMs, getting at them. It's, uh, these the niggas that's jumping in my DM. Like, I got a loose tongue. I say all type of shit to a nigga once you jump in my DM. I talk about your dad, granny. I don't, like, you, I don't give a fuck. But, like, like nowadays, if, if somebody dies and you just don't say anything, mm. that's already a narrative. Mm. You, can't, you can't avoid it because there's going to be meme pages saying, oh, look, uh, Yo Gotti didn't fucking post anything on Instagram after Dolph died. Mm. I mean, you're what the fuck's he gonna say? Yeah, beef with him for like ten fucking years, crazy right. ass shit, back and forth. Like you know, but even him just not saying anything was something for the blogs to run with. Right. Man, when I die, I expect right. a lot of niggas to laugh. When I die, 
Man, kick over my candles, <laughs> piss on my grave. There's a video of you kicking y'all. somebody's candles nah, on YouTube, but that's that not you, me. right? Nah, that ain't me. They just threw my name on there to make it get more views. Fake news, it, going yeah, crazy. fake news. It ain't nothing. I ain't tripping. I, 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 I visualized all this before it happened. Like you know what I'm saying? Mm. Before I even decided to be a rapper, I knew all this was gonna happen. Do you think you'll ever get to the point where you're making booty shaker anthems like the way that like YG and Tyga do sometimes? Um, I try sometimes. <laughs> I, I just try to go with what what's for what's for me. I got a couple songs like that. Like I'll be with the drug dealers. You feel mm. me? It's like a booty shaking anthem. Anything for the money. Like I get, I, you know, it's art. I feel like at the end of the day, it's art. So I try to like be creative as much as I can. Like you know, mm. I don't just rap about gang banging and shooting people. I really tell like a life story. Mm. Shit, people could relate to if you grew up like in a single home. You know what I'm saying? Or whatever the situation, whatever struggle you might have went through. I got something you can relate to for sure. You know, I got something for the people going to the gym. I'm a smart dude. Mm. I, I just use my brain when, while I'm being creative. Right. You're not letting the lean slow you down? Is it a battle? Nah, it actually, man, I'm gaining a little weight. <laughs> but far as, like, keeping Yeah, compared me going, to the interrogation video, I was like, oh, you packed <laughs> on, like, 10, 15 pounds over the years. Man, <laughs> it's 14 years. It's been so long. I was yeah. like, like, damn, I don't remember this shit. Nah, for sure. The lean keep me going, bro. I'm not gonna lie for to real? you. The lean keep me going. I'm I'm working on my. I just dropped my 17th. I'm dropping 10 albums this year. 10 this year. Yeah. Watch. Hold me to it. Watch this. You don't feel like that's they boosted me up in the market, or is nah, it just because the song's gonna be bangers mm. and people can't deny a banger, a vibe you can't deny a vibe. How often? How long does it take you to make a song? Uh, how long does it take? It'd probably take me like an hour to make a good song. Yeah. Right. Far as write a verse real quick, quick twenty minutes. Far if I'm, I'm writing about to do a good song, it's gonna take me an hour because it's gonna take me thirty minutes to write it and another thirty minutes to record it. Mm. You know, oh, you I still write? Huh? Oh, so you yeah, always I still write? write? Definitely, yeah. I write everything. Never I, punch? I mean, I'm punching in while I'm like I write everything because I do too many drugs. Like I say a hard ass bar and forget it. Mm. I don't yes. know how them niggas be freestyling. I Thank do you. drugs for no, real. We forget like I'm it. popping perks, sipping lean. I never forget, remember that shit. So me personally, I write it down so I don't forget it. And then when I just go in there, bam, I got it all written down. Because I'll be saying some hard shit, and I'll be mad if I forget it. Mm. But I learned to the point how to do it. I learned because the engineer used to always be like, rap with it. I'm like, what you mean, rap with it? That's so you can make the first four sound like the next four. Mm. The next four, as you just keep going on. That's why you can you probably can't even tell I punch in. I punch in still to this day, every four bars. Mm. You feel me? But I got it written down, and I got it to a way where... I just rap everything through, and he'll just cut it out as we go. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I found a way to cheat. Yeah, I cheat too. Uh, uh, uh. You know what I'm that's saying? Just, that's just your formula. <laughs> yeah, yeah, my formula, yeah. Yeah, yeah. I didn't know that, bro. I used to think people was going in there rapping, nigga, yeah, just and losing their breath. Yeah, I'm like, man, how a nigga do that? Windy, that All mean, the way what? into the hook. Ooh, I'm like, that's like, crazy. When you first what? do it, that's the shit you be doing. Yeah, yeah. I remember back I learned, in the day, Shoreline, I went to the studio with them. They are just rapping the whole fucking verse the whole yeah. way through. Yeah, that's like sometimes if you got it memorized already. Sometimes, like, what I used to do... I used to write songs at my home, at my house, and then I have it already memorized, and then I go to the studio, and then that's when I be already know. You know what I'm saying? Mm. If it's just on the spot though, nah, I'm gonna have to. It's cleaner when you punch in. Though. See that that shit that y'all be doing them live performing? I will have a problem with that because I punch yeah, in. Yeah, like, that every shit y'all be doing, like, I have they, a problem. I don't know how y'all. I don't remember know how y'all, y'all do that. I couldn't y'all, remember, I, nigga. I be saluting you, you and Savvy when Man. y'all be doing that shit in like Skilla and everybody else. That'd be that my only that. question. I be like, how do niggas remember? That's what you think. That's what you think. How many takes? You got to just go sit right there because you you know it on the set. I just run it. How many times you be fucking up? Probably, I don't. Sometimes I fuck up like two, three times first, but when I get it right, I still want to do it again. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Because now I got it. If you you had to do a show and let's say you got 10 songs and it's just the instrumental, you Mm. can't fucking, like, no backing track at all. Mm hmm. You think, like, how well would you be able to perform, like, your 10 biggest songs with no bagging track? Would it be, like, extremely difficult? Or uh, it would I feel be, like I would get lost. It would be difficult, but it if I practice it, it's my shit. I can do it. Yeah. You do rehearsals for the shit. Like I do. I can do it. I and <laughs> that crowd is going to make you perform. And when I miss something, you're not gonna I'm miss still nothing. on it. When that crowd in front of you, you're not going to miss nothing. Oh, if the crowd's because helping you, you along. Right, yeah, right. Yeah, you really, if they my fans yeah. and it's or really my people out there because we going up. So some words I don't have to say. Mm. You yeah. feel me? But I, yeah. I'll be having to rehearse. I ain't going to lie because I got so many. I got 17 albums, so... 
fans, they be liking songs off every album. And it's like a second never be that long. If I be sitting here and do every song they requested, I'll be doing 40 songs. Like, but just yeah. rapping in acapella, I mean, I like, can't even do that. On the instrumental, that'd be hard for you got to do. start doing that. Yeah. No, what they do is they take out like four bars, yeah, yeah, yeah. two cut performance track, and, it, and it, it guides you back into what you're supposed to do. Then they'll take. I did out that the, one of my shows. Shit. I had the guy yeah. with the, at my Roxy live, show. Live I had somebody with a piano, so I had to come out and rap one of my songs without them playing the lyrics. And he was just hitting the piano, and I had to do everything a cappella. Mm. You know what I'm saying? I, I messed up a few times, but I made it work. You put yeah. a, but if I felt like if I did a little practicing, yeah, nah, I nail it for sure. Do you feel like you're kind of stuck in an LA? box and do you think about like how to make people outside of LA care about your music in terms of like working with other artists or doing different sounds or are you, are you just feeling like you're gonna just keep being authentic being you uh yeah I'm gonna keep being me at the end of the day you know I feel like it's about who you are as a person like I got fans I'll be looking at my I'll, I'll be looking at my list you know I got I'm signing to all my apps so I, I'm seeing where my music is selling that I got fans in Japan I got fans all around the world mm. you know what I'm saying so that's why when they be having these LA conversations, I'm like, but shit, somebody in, somebody over here, man, in New York is playing my shit. Like, you know what I'm saying? If I'm doing 5,000 streams a month over there, mm. somebody playing it. I got fans DMing me from, from Canada and Japan and all that type of shit. So I just keep being myself, being real, but not definitely. If I network, like, I fly to Florida, Atlanta, I definitely uh, tap in with the rapper. I don't be too big and quick to do songs with niggas. Like, I'm not big on it. I don't care about doing because... I could drop his whole tape with no features and it's gonna still it's gonna go viral regardless. Imagine you like signed to Gotti. Like Yo Gotti? Like remember when Mozzie signed to Yo Gotti and mm. it was just kinda like, whoa, like that's crazy. Like artists that we never G-Code. really seen outside of this like yeah. NorCal, California right. box and now he's signed that. to a dude from the other side yeah. of the country. That's kinda I was crazy. Like, that's big for Mozzie, man. That was big for me. I was like yeah. I, Mozzie is the nigga I look at like kinda like Nip. Mm, like, you know, he big morning. on the independent and shit. And I would like, he say made, that it was a smart decision if he did it, right? For sure. He made a lot of money with the being independent, so I looked, I was, yeah, I was like, man, this is perfect for my <sighs> that market? And perfect I got an incoming call, okay? From whack. Oh Should I God. answer? <laughs> oh, that's between this side this of the couch. Is, Should I answer? It? Over here, we, we over here. <laughs> Let me see, okay? Oh, I'm going to put it to my ear. Hello? this guy. What's up, dog? Content over everything. Hey, this nigga Wack called me and unloaded it on me real quick. So much to where I can't even articulate. But he yeah, got, I was thinking it's going to be tough to he, fucking He got sealed that, paperwork. Right? Okay, let's get to it. He got sealed paperwork, too. I'm going to go get my shit, right? Yeah. I'm going to post it. Right. The only way I'm going to post it is, is if he go get that. Is this you already got going on? Who? I'm deeper. saying you ain't got to post now. Yeah, no, 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 no. Hold on. Bell receipts, in the world knows this. You can look it up. You can see where I buy that. If if it was if it was what it was, how did he look up how much I bailed out of L.A. County for? Mm. You get what I'm saying? He just talking. Cause I accidentally drunk. Cause. But I'm gonna post all my I'm gonna post all my paperwork, right? And what? he gotta post his seal paperwork. Cause I low key don't be here. I'm, nah, because nah, a lot yeah, of shit. Yeah, yeah, like he got sealed paperwork. <laughs> like a lot like, of shit y'all saying. I'm low key new. that paperwork that's sealed, and we all could talk. I'm low key new. Cause I'm I know Long Beach. I got paperwork Long Beach from every case that minutes. I ever been on. So so I bring it all. I go get it out the, out the safe and just bring everything, and we all could just sit around and look through people's paperwork. But you got to go get yours. You don't got none. So you got to go get it get it from the place that sealed it. Go grab that. All I'll right. It. So my phone's on Do Not Disturb. Wack tried to call me, and then he texted me. I'm just going to read it just so we could get a response to it. <laughs> Maybe he told you it better to he, where he you He probably did. tried to call me. And, yeah, he tried to call both of us. He <laughs> said, as Big said, did he later get on the stand and try to retract his statement? If he claims oh, yeah, he never he gave a statement, why did he try to retract the statement? He described the shooter's car, which is what the, got the shooter, the owner of the gray SUV, convicted. Please keep it real in there. And nigga, it was no statement to. That's not, why is not none of that in there? Who who am I somebody where they can't find his work? Yeah. Why is not in there? That's what got him convicted. Everything that's is all in the there. Facts that got him why is it not in there? You see the lady, you made me smoke another cigarette. Y'all pissing me off. <laughs> I ain't <laughs> 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 I think it's right here. Yeah. <laughs> 
<laughs> yeah, so so now that you when you see this, go get that paperwork that's sealed and holler at us, gang. No, this oh, nigga whack. Yeah, that nigga don't what he talking yeah, about? I got all my no. paperwork. Any I, case you look up, I got it. I think whack confused. Cuz is funny. <laughs> Cuz is funny. <laughs> if anything is, I said, it would is, be in there, gang, right or wrong. Yeah. That's the whole court files, paper, everything. So Why, Who like, am I for them to ex- exclude something out for? Did you read the shit that they posted? Yeah, I read all that. That yeah. was bullshit. Uh, There's nothing nothing in there said I told on somebody. Nothing in there where I said I said a nigga name or anything like that. They're pulling up some police reports that didn't make it to court. I mean, I don't know. It's like at the end of the day, I see they I see they angle and what they doing, but it's only going to turn me up. Because I know the truth. So that was a police report that was... Yeah, I, I got the real court paper. So that. you better jail, right? You know that. I got the real court paper. We can't go off of police reports in uh, no way. If it's not a statement, oh, that's what I'm saying. That is, if it would have came out of that, that interrogation, that of, then yeah. we could believe what he said. But the police could say anything. They just said that K-Swiss didn't dispute the fact yeah. that they've been beefing with the Mansfield Gangsters for seven years over drug territory. Mm. That's a lie. There, it, the beef has it had nothing to do with drug territory. So That's a lie. It happened with the fight. Niggas already know that. And it ain't been going on for seven years. It just started that year. Like that's yeah, crazy. Like right then and there. But it's so, like you guys like I'm still laughing So that's at another this nigga. police statement that was made. Oh, he said the SUV was silver. Mm. And he did this, that, and the other. Like, come on, man. You can't go off of police statements. The whole world know that he can hit the yard with a police statement saying he said all type of crazy shit. And if they don't got the interrogation and the transcript from the interrogation mm-hmm. right there play Man. off the table all right so you want me to tell you about this gangster ass shit that i saw dejan do what no oh. so we do the spiffy luciano interview right mm-hmm. spiffy's kind of like giving him a hard time fucking with him and shit like because he gave him a fucking f on the report card and then at one point spiffy takes the fucking report card throws that shit on the ground and kind of like blows smoke at it mm-hmm. so then the interview ends right and then I go into my office real quick, and I just hear Spiffy's boys laughing their asses off, dying laughing. So I walk back out. I just, I just go, what's so funny? And I guess Dejan told that told Spiffy right as soon as the camera went off, he, he goes, hey, if you had spit on it, I would have came across the table and fired on you. No, he didn't. He straight up told him he would have beat his ass. No, he didn't. <laughs> nah, Spiffy hey, ain't let you say that. <laughs> <laughs> I don't even know. I wish I heard it so yeah, that I could yeah, really so verify this 100%, eat. but that's what his boys, it, they said it in front of both they of them. They were so laughing like, at it. Yeah. Oh, no, man, no. I was like, he's ready to stand up. That's business. what you doing? Yeah. Hey, a nigga spit out. Yeah, come I on. I wonder man. if he ever he worked somebody's ass in the do. industry before. He about to have a couple phase. We gonna see. Oh yeah, he, he got, got a phase, low key. Kevin. He don't know. Yeah. He got it lined up for himself. He got it lighted up for himself. <laughs> uh, he go hit Shut the door. Up. Who, 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 who wanna fight him? He he don't even, he's not him. even gonna. He go hit the rapper crazy. door with phase. Like, oh yeah, you got five Bro, in the yeah. back. Oh, uh, Mr. Report know who, card. Where I'm you from? Just, a day in L.A. Oh yeah. I would lose a lot of respect for a rapper if they actually swung on him over that shit, bro. Look, 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 when you doing your job in your career, shit start coming with your job in your career. If that's what's coming with his job and career, nigga, live in your job in your career. Yo, stand on your shit. If a rap, if a, a a rap media person says break baby pussy, all bets are off. Yeah, you can whoop his ass. It's all good. Yeah. But if he says break baby's flow is not good, it's, it's an opinion about oh, yeah, music. Me, what are we talking yeah, about? Me, but you got a motherfucker who can't tell a nigga that his shoes ugly. Mm. Like them shoes bunk. Like nigga, we can get in. <laughs> right, right, right. <laughs> <laughs> no, Those type of that like, type. What? I just think people gotta and he remember. Got the team Jordan so like it's hip hop. At the end of the day, we gotta about? we gotta lead. We gotta treat music like a separate fucking category of everything. So it's like yes, if somebody says your shoes are ugly, you can smack them in the face. But if somebody you says your, your beats shoes. suck, I feel like you gotta. Give him some room, especially someone like him who has clearly identified himself as a non-gang member, non-street dude. He's he's separate from that. He wants to be a media personality only. These the same niggas that's catching phase with their baby mamas, bro. Uh, no, but your baby mama signed up for that shit, right? Yeah, yeah I, I mean, <laughs> and so did he. Speaking your name, these are the same people. Like, what do you say about me? It's, it's chest poking, and it and they know that they trash too, and they look at it like, and it's not that they trash in these areas. Who that been you, their baby mama? 
I didn't. I people, don't really think the baby mama of, signed up for that. For the record. Oh uh, yeah, these are jokes. But okay, no, yeah, what I'm saying is, you talking shit about niggas that squabbling whatever mm. over their feelings. Right. That's right. what I meant about these niggas out here beating their baby mamas up. You um, get what I'm saying? Like, right, right, right. so a fade with design over a report guard is that's what right you're saying that type of shit. <laughs> yeah, because they baby mama right there. You ain't gonna do that to that bitch ass nigga with you. <laughs> that type of shit. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, what else we got? You guys got any other shit you want to talk about? Oh, What's going on? Man, my album coming out uh, March 1st, man. They side, my side, and the truth. Bangers on that bitch. And I'm basically just, you know, breaking a lot of this shit down for people that don't understand certain shit. You know what I'm saying? For sure. I think, yeah. that, I think that was much, like, much needed. You feel me? Because everybody got that. It's a lot of opinions. opinions. You you know what I'm saying? Do you so. feel like when you look at the fans' response and stuff, are you mostly like happy that they are still fucking with you, or are you kind of like upset with them being judgmental? No, nah, the fans, the fans been fucking with me. Everybody I see saying something to me is somebody we already been beefing with. Mm. My hood already beef with they hood. I just dropped a video the other day and a song. My what? My comments going crazy. They love me. Mm. My DMs going crazy because people could read through the difference. And then, like like he said, people can have their opinions, too. You know what I'm saying? I ain't begging for no friends. I only did this interview for my fans. Mm, as far as, like, the niggas in the streets, I don't kick it with you niggas anyway. You know what I'm saying? But Bloody be the places I be in, man. Yeah, we don't even be in the same places. What's up? I see I see that put us on the same table on the rap report card. You know that table. I said, no. Yeah, I said, well, that table cracking. Yeah, we cool over yeah, here. Yeah, we, we cool. We the new no jumper niggas. Most dead, most dead. <laughs> yeah, no jumper niggas. Niggas got no jumper going on. I got my album coming out too. CEO, cribbing every opportunity, creating mm. every opportunity. Yeah. Still got that gala on. Every time you see me, that's all you gonna see me I in gala. With Marlon Wayne, was that Marlon? Oh yeah, Marlon Wayne. Shout out Marlon okay. Wayne. Shout me, out Marlon. Me and Cuz and our, uh, we was in my baby mama and. Uh, Everybody we was with had a good time backstage. You know yeah, what I'm saying? Yeah, Just yeah. chilling, uh, catching a vibe uh, at the show, too. Uh, yeah, shout out Marlon Wayne. Yeah, Got a gang, VH1, still VH1, still I, on Wildin' Out. I grew up up under them with mm -hmm. Damon and all them. Damon Wayne's uh, kids is like some of my best friends to this day. Mm -hmm. who, who you yeah. siding with, Ice Spice or Lotto? Uh, oh, man. I'm going with Lotto. I like Ice Spice too. Ice Spice is a drill over, rapper. Over, I'm gonna have to go with her. That's what I said. What? Over what happened, I think it was some bullshit. I don't. You think they did? It's crazy. Girls don't do bullshit. It's crazy because they I mean what they say. Yeah. I listened to that song about like you ain't even a fart like a, a couple of times. I I never would have thought that it was an actual this song. I thought she was just talking her little girly shit. I was, in, I was in the mall yesterday. I seen mad fucking girls rocking Ice Spice shirts. I'm like, damn, she got Ice merch Spice moving like that. Right now. I'm a side with Lotto. Yeah, why not? Because he thinks it's more likely that he could fuck her. <laughs> I think he wants to fuck her more. <laughs> like Ice Spice, I don't know. That'd be kind of weird. <laughs> but I, but Lotto, like you and her, oh, she's 25. Okay. It's hittable. I'm, I'm I'm figuring out the ages <laughs> right now. She's 25, and then what's her name? Ice Spice. It sounds. I saw a tweet that said it sounds like two Dunkin' Donuts beverages beefing. <laughs> <laughs> a Lotto and an Ice Spice. <laughs> <laughs> no cap. <kidding. laughs> yeah, pumpkin Ice Spice. Oh, Ice Spice 24. I thought she was younger than that. All right. Oh, they're the same age basically. Yeah. So that's, that's a fair a, fight. It's a fair fight. It's a fair, it's a fight, fair fight, right. kind of, but Lotto been doing it longer. So Who I'm you think of fight? The, I think I think. I don't know. I can't do it. I, think, I don't know. I think Spice might get her. They what? Say, they say Coley Ray got with her program. Got with who program? <laughs> they say that's what happened backstage. Coley Ray got they, with they, they really him. fought? They caught the police. Got with Lotto yeah. program? Yeah. Over there. Nah. I was smoking on the Bro, I'll put, Coley Ray. I feel like Coley I mean, Ray could fuck Ray. somebody up. <laughs> yeah, Coley Ray. They say she I probably hella quick. Huh? Ray, I like how you say her name. Coily Ray, she, she probably quick. She ain't do that. She, I gotta see it. Coy Ray, Coy Ray, right? I gotta oh, see okay, it. Yeah. Am I saying it wrong? Yeah, I think so. Probably, maybe. <laughs> <laughs> I gotta see it. Benzino said he been he uh, he won the rap beef with him I, and Eminem. Fuck, I gotta listen to he this said he response. I ain't even listened to it. 
<laughs> Bro, that Benzino <laughs> got a picture like this working out. Crazy. Like, Wait, Benzino in the shower? You ever seen the Benzino shower scene that been going viral <laughs> off the Tubi movie? What? No, I've seen for the real? Clip of it. Oh my God! What can we get a doing? clip, please? He told me he posts oh his meat God. on OnlyFans. <laughs> he did? Yeah. Yo, he's he, losing. He all on drinking creatine, cuz. I do. I take creatine. Cuz I'm it's saying, like, I don't really know if it does. You know, that, that, that shit ain't making you extra buff. Yeah, I don't know. It's not feel like you're doing. I take the amino acids too. You drinking it to put weight on? I'm trying you to don't just. Do I don't push know what I'm to do. It don't even work out because yeah. just drinking. <laughs> it doesn't work on the treadmill, baby. My nigga just oh, drinking it, good. <laughs> um, all right. And, uh, they they about to play the, the scene for you, see. Okay. Wait, the Benzino shower scene? Yeah. Bro, whenever I try to go to a blog on this, it just says something about the ad block, which I never had ad block on my computer. I, I think it's unethical to. Uh, do ad block as a content creator. <laughs> but man, that shit is fucking annoying. Yeah, see, look, it says something about ad block, right? Yeah, that's fucking that's Josh Scammer. Uh -huh. There it goes this. right oh, there. You'll see the buff. Anyway. No, I love Ben Zeno. He's not naked because it's for a movie, but it's like the yeah. four. You don't see him? I, I, was, I was seeing <laughs> out of the corner of my eye. I fuck with Benzino. He's like such a good interview. Like, he's so fucking interesting and it's entertaining. Crazy. They always trying to throw him in some gay shit or whatever. I, I didn't ask him anything about the fucking the trans rumor or whatever this Oh, okay, I got shit some was. shit like that going on, too? I don't know. They be trying to. A little picture. bit older, man. He might he an older I dude. feel like that's like a second interview kind of thing for me. Because <laughs> hey, he's an older dude and trying shit. <laughs> he's an older dude. I didn't say that. An that's older dude trying that. shit. <laughs> <laughs> that's what you said. He he trying shit. Dude. He might be he trying might shit. Be he might be oh, hell no, that's not, bored? but that better not be what older yeah, dudes do. He fucked hella bad <laughs> bitches know. back in the day. Maybe he's just getting bored. You want to switch it up? I don't, I don't know. know. I mean, he's no, denying it. I think he's denying it. it. Isn't he surviving Diddy too? <laughs> nah, no, I don't think Diddy, Diddy did him. Uh, uh, man, we gotta keep Big Sad away from Diddy for sure. Because on the documentary, I mean, protect Break Baby from Diddy too. Man, I just did an interview with Aubrey O'Day from Danny Kane. If I wasn't oh, on the yeah. Diddy shit list before I am now, oh my God. What oh, happened? Wow. She was wild. She was out. going up about it? No Nick Cannon. Uh she <laughs> was uh, talking about her abuse that she no. may allegedly have dealt with from him, and it was a lot. Damn. Shit was a, a two B movie. They adding it up on my nigga. Yo, they're up in the score for real. Damn, he got cuz. You seen that picture of me? What? Where that picture, that little rough picture, my nigga looking crazy. For real? He look like he, yeah, he dealing with some shit right now. Oh, yeah, he dealing with shit. We all been there. All right, we out. I'm going to be in Puerto Rico by the time this shit come out. Holler at me if you got the dope in Puerto Rico, I guess. Damn, yeah, should I yeah, just bring yeah. some joints on the plane? I don't give a fuck, right? Yeah, it's legal out there. It's legal out there? Yeah. Yeah. This is why I got to keep you just around, Just it up good. Yeah. You got mad info. Sure. <laughs> I wonder what's I wonder what it's gonna be like out there. Is there hella people? I wonder. Where in, in front of the store? Oh uh, shit! Nah, we got it's good. It might be it's raining. Is it raining? The weather been. That's stupid. probably why everybody coming in. Man. Right. All right. No jumper. Coolest podcast in the world. Shout out to yeah, my man, yeah, Big yeah. Sad, man. Brick Baby, DW Flame. Album out yeah. March first. Tap be in. Late. Hit that like button. It's Super Bowl week, man. Let's go. Drop a comment. Smoke a Super Bowl. Take the Browns to the Super Bowl, a.k.a. take a shit. And we out. Bang. All right.